Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't mention that in the, the joint. Live. <laughs> Welcome to the Iron Lords podcast at lordsofgaming.net, Ooh. episode number 103. And it's another glorious Sunday. We're back at the round table on the Lord's Day. And we've got the winner of our second row giveaway, Division 2 Impressions. It's Google, the real next generation threat, Xbox Live on iOS and Android, Project X Cloud demo, and Steam versus Epic to discuss. So we're going to get right into it. So let's introduce the four horsemen of gaming, those original lords of the realm here at the round table. My co host with the co most, my brother from another mother, the difficult game conqueror, and the how of the young wolf. My man, Lord Addict, how you doing, sir? Doing pretty good uh, here in this combat talk. So uh, once that starts, I might go uh, <laughs> pop a bottle or something. But no, this, this, it out. This, from this, division. this is the day that you want to sit down and listen to grown man talking. <laughs> this is a grown man <laughs> talk. See, my play, my Xbox isn't even hooked up right now, so I can't even escape to that. Right. Like, ah. and, yeah. and your PCs are otherwise occupied. Yeah. No, I've got two screens. <laughs> <laughs> he do yeah, monitoring. He do a monitoring you. <laughs> Too straight to avoid you. Like, I like how you said that, sir. <laughs> he always has the out. Yeah, he always got the out. What you been playing, man? Um, just the division, pretty much. Uh, the, the God division, the Woo! the Anthem Killer division. Woo! The I, I wouldn't say I, Destiny Killer division. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> Easy, easy. That was come out of his mouth. Easy. <laughs> no, no. I would say the Destiny Killer Division at this uh this last expansion they dropped actually wasn't. It's not bad. So no doubt, no doubt. I can't say the Destiny Killer Division, That's but I'm definitely good. saying Anthem Killer Division. Woo, talk it. Talk. This is your time to talk. This is what it is. Yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> Anthem. Well, to be fair, you have to have life to be killed. Yeah, I was about but, to say that. I said oh, you can't. Wow. You can't kill something that's already dead. I mean. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> can't kill something that killed itself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they committed suicide. That's what that game did. That's Hari Kari. That's what it's called. Obviously, you know, you, your history of the anthem is quite interesting on, on social media. Um, so is this like your redemption tour? Is this the I told you so tour? What, what is this? That's mine. This is me wanting to play a game <laughs> and telling you it's better than your game. Oh, <laughs> I got you. I got you. Anything else besides division, sir? No, not really. I've just been playing the division. I've been playing a lot of Destiny PC and uh, some Devil May Cry 5. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. And of course, we have our most technical gaming lord, the solo gamer who lives for the single player selfish experience, and also the Sastradamus, Mr. Offline Profile Illuminati, and Lord Patreon of the Iron Bank. My man, Lord Sovereign, how you doing, sir? I'm chilling, man. Doing good. Ooh, your mic's good now. Yeah, yeah, man. Good. 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 You know how it is, man. That, that vitamin D finally starting to come back in the body. The sun's starting <laughs> oh, to come out. Oh, Weather's oh, starting to get oh, better. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Vitamin D, no, that don't sound good. That don't sound good. You just said the vitamin D done got back in my body. Come on, man. Oops. Let's pause today. We'll edit that one. uh, Edit that out for the (laughs) (laughs) show. What you been playing, sir? Oh, man, I I did the shice this week, and I took my PC to to work with me. I had that in my backpack. So I finally finally got through. uh, I finished Crackdown. Okay. Yeah, that was man, that was fun, man. Like I, you know, the ball. I don't know if people talking about the boss fights and whatnot. I mean, I, I honestly like it was a very solid, fun game. I love the traversal. Mm-hmm. So I pretty much did. I, there's still a lot of achievements and stuff, what crazy stuff like gathering all the orbs, which you'll never do. Um, <laughs> so I finished that. Um, I played some division, man. Like honestly, uh, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. I, I don't go into the weeds with it like you guys do, you know, with all the oh. the upgrading and stuff like that. But I do, you know, for me, just mm. finding new stuff and see, ooh, the number's higher. Okay, cool. I like that. Like, mm. you know, that that for me is that's enough. Let me okay. ask you this, because you because you you're the king of the single player experience. So my thing is I felt that I could play that solo. Like how how would how is your experience? Because clearly you didn't play with us. So clearly we didn't get the invite for the Lord of Single Player. Like, by the way, so, just loves you. He because yeah, I know, I know. I, I gave him a shout out this morning. Yeah, because he's a single player like you, because he don't play with me either. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Bot is busy. But all, all jokes aside, like, how is that for you? Single it's player? definitely not, it's very playable. 
single player. The only thing I really had trouble with was Ooh. control points. Control Ooh, points, yes. unless you are an absolute beast. Yes. Because see, the thing with the control point was that when I first did it and I cleared out the initial wave of, of <laughs> enemies, over. I thought it was over. So I was like, why are they telling me to call backup? Ooh. I'm like, all right, I, don't, I, I didn't get anything. So I'm like, all right, let me do this backup thing. Maybe it's going to send NPCs my way to help me or whatever. <laughs> and then when the rush came, I was like, oh, that's yeah, and they were ruthless. They were they murdered me quick, quick yeah. fast. Like so, you need help for that. Yeah, what you got to do, Sob, is um before you infiltrate the control point, right. you're gonna notice like if you crouch behind something, you'll see press X to call back up and shoot the flare up. Right. Now, let me give you advice. When you shoot the flare up, it takes some time. Unless there's a settlement in the general vicinity, mm -hmm. it's gonna take some time for them to get over there. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like I would say, as soon as you start the engagement, then shoot it up so that at least in the mix, by the time it's mixing up, then they come because you're going to come bodies, bro. Trust yeah. me. Oh my God. They, yo, yeah. these guys, and they were, I love the fact that they're so relentless with their aggro and their flanking. God, they, don't they don't care about your they don't care about your cover. They're not about they don't care yeah. about that. They yeah. they actively you know what I like the conversations that they having with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they be talking that talk. <laughs> what they disrespect and they and they tell out, yo, he healing, he healing, get him now. Get, get, get him now. Bro. No, what, I like the ones I like the dudes that are just like they don't care. They throw themselves out there, they're yeah. shooting at you with the gun sideways, walking at you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. This is my doggy. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't get a thug like, sideways. <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet until you get to those suicide bomber dudes with the glowing chest. Mm -hmm. Bro, those dudes. And they take, yo, you see them when they take the drugs to get you? When they stand on the side, they like, yo, pop those pills. Pop the pills. <laughs> right, let's go pop those pills. Well, yeah, with the, with the, with the girls that are on the hyenas, they, 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 yes. they bum rush you. I'm like, yo, what is going on? That's what I'm saying, like, why they got to get high before? Because <laughs> yeah. they, they're doing the kamikaze. They know they're not getting out of that alive, but they want to yeah. get you. But you know what? I, I like that touch, right? Because it, it adds to the reason why they're going so crazy. So, like, to rush you, right? Because normally it wouldn't make any sense tactically to go at someone like that. Exactly. But, yeah. but they know that they're expendable. That, yeah. you know, I got to say, man. Woof, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was funny while I was playing because this, I, we, you know, you know, um, mm -hmm. Kaibatsu and I share it, right? So, mm -hmm. while I'm playing, I see the notification pop up for the year one pass. Like a Kaibatsu was playing, was like, no, nah, I got to get the year one pass. And, and it <laughs> comes up while I'm playing. Ah, yeah. That's what's up. Anything so, else you've been playing, sir? No, nah, that's pretty much it. I, I wanted to touch a little bit more of a Devil May Cry, but I haven't been able to do that. And then this week is, oh man, Sekiro Friday. Oh, we're going to get to that. We got something to give away. Mm -hmm. Later. Yes, we do. No doubt, no doubt. And of course we have the incredible hulk of this aka the excess gamer Ooh. the lord of combat sports was a man of his convictions demands nothing less than that premium experience and is the leader of the fraud alert movement Ooh, beloved lord king how you doing sir combat shades are Oh, let me tell you something. I told, I, let, me, let me keep this muting. for real. Yo, 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 go jump in the bushes. Let grown men handle the room right now. Ooh. I need elbow room. Be you, man. Be there. you. Excuse me. Excuse me. You, 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 oh, you need yo. more. You, you need more than that, you know, that, that ring yeah, that you yeah, got. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. glad we leave that. I'll the exit bills. the building. Yeah, yeah. Let's pay, let pay, pay the bills. We got to pay the bills real quick. quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, shout out to Raymond Morrell playing Divid with the $5 super chat. Play Division 2 by yourself. Need backup, a turret, a drone, and three and Hail Mary. <laughs> shout Yo, out to Raymond Morrell. As soon as I put up that, the funny thing is, as soon as they see the turret, they all try to destroy it. Like, it's yeah. not one dude. They all go after it. Now, you got to get that out of here. Yeah. Hey, hey, I don't play with that. We get back yo, to that in a second. Hey, hey, what's up? Get your elbow out. All right, uh, uh, Eternal Shadai, I'm gonna give you a shout out to that because you did call a, a decision on that, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna explain why that decision went down, like you said, oh. because technically your boy was knocked out since the knife round when his brother mm -hmm. wanted to jump on a rope and throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. That happened just like I said. His brother gonna jump on a rope and throw in the towel. But this how it went, right? Mm -hmm. The whole narrative of uh, we're talking about Errol Spence Jr. versus Mikey Garcia. A lot mm -hmm. of dudes out here, if you listen to that combat talk, a lot of dudes out here was running with this rhetoric a little big man can go a little a little a good little man can go up and beat a good big man mm. that has never happened in boxing now i want you to understand earl spence is in his prime he's an olympian he's going around he's seen every style in the world as an olympian 
All right, mm -hmm. there's nothing new that he's going to see. He has fought every style, so he had to adjust to every style, right? Mm -hmm. This man is a certified animal. When I'm telling you he's an animal, I believe he is part Michael Myers and part Jason. Mm -hmm. All right, because this dude's face, if you watch every round, he had a particular mission. His face mm -hmm. never changed. His face stayed the same. He didn't have a heavy breathing. This man had a mission. His mission was to make Mikey Garcia never speak his name out of his <laughs> mouth again. He beat this dude. <laughs> Two minutes for every round and backed up off his behind just so he can carry him for a fight. I'm a fighter. I know when you're carrying somebody. Mm. He carried his behind to teach him a lesson. Don't you ever speak my name. He beat him so bad. Mikey at one point mm. looked like a crippled old man. And I'm wow. saying to myself, just let him fall, man. Just let him <laughs> fall. Don't be that dude. Do not be that dude. Oh, KK, you said he, he made him suffer, fam? What? It was, it was sadistic? Yeah, it was It was that. It was definitely that. Because wow, I think... Time. Yeah, Yo, he... It was mm. one point mm -hmm. that he was doing some pantomiming joint, teasing him. <laughs> so he said, stop that. Stop that right now. Because he was it, was... it was like a cat playing with a mouse. You see what a cat playing with a mouse? Before mm. he kill it? Yo... I've never seen a destruction mm -hmm. of a great fighter because Mikey is a great fighter. I mm -hmm. called this with Ukraine. shout out to Dave from um Vegas, my, mm -hmm. my man out in Vegas. Me and him stay in the DMs talking oh, about yo, that's the homie. Shout out to him. Facts. Yo, I called it back then. I said Errol Spence is going to slaughter this man. Mm -hmm. He is string his body up for all to see. Mm -hmm. Don't ever speak my name. That is the true boogeyman. Mm. I don't know who's going to beat him. I don't know how they're going to beat him. Mm. I'm, old age is going to beat him. So you gave me, you giving me a good one. You gave me a good one, King, to get back in the box. When you said Errol Spence is going to be my wave. That's oh, the wave for me. That's, that's your new Roy. That's the new. All right. Yo, quick, real quick. Yo, stay the chat going crazy. Boss Moon said your post fight was straight out of Compton commentary was fire. He said. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yo, people was like, yo, they, he, Jason Myatt, boy, he's him. You know what I'm saying? Pummeling, yo, 108. He said he beat him like Tyson beat Razor Ruddick the second fight to the yeah. round. Yo, they said everyone agreed with you. They said that, yo, the caddy would say, yo, they let him suffer, man. Like, Arrow was yeah. Yeah. So, Like, yeah. from a technical perspective, the only thing that what Mikey couldn't do, he needed to do when he couldn't do, yeah. is that he needed to neutralize the jab, right? So he yeah. needed to step in at an yeah. angle to his left and mm -hmm. try to smother the jab mm -hmm. and then maybe hit him with some dirty boxing mm -hmm. box to the body try to hit him with some uppercuts spence was moving too much he had no like spence had him on the straight line the mm -hmm. entire time spence he hit him with the jab and then he'd come right back with either the straight left mm -hmm. or a hooking left just to throw just to throw his timing off you mean a hooking right because he's a southpaw the, the, yeah yeah, well, no, no, the, yeah, no, right. So, no, he would, he was, he was hitting him with the right jab, and right. he, he, and then he'd come back with oh, the straight yeah, left yeah. or the hooking left. Yeah, to yeah. So that, so my thing was like, if Mikey had at least tried to hit at angles and kind of duck in towards his left mm -hmm. to maybe smother the right hand and and the jab, he might have had a chance to do something. Yeah, except stand up in front of him. But the way Spence was moving around him, he kept him in front of him all night. Mikey was, he was on the center line the whole night. Mm -hmm. getting pummeled i've never seen anything like that wow he control he controlled for, for such a good boxer like mikey to get controlled like that that was mm -hmm. something to see yeah. yeah he needs he needs to go back to his weight class and not, not I, want about that. Go, I want you to go to combat talk and i told you there's gonna be two men in there fighting for control and the man that gonna get that control i i already knew spencer was gonna get that control all right, he double, tripled, and quadrupled the jab on Mikey's head. He was hitting him with jazz. Mikey was like, "What the hell is going what on? What is going on? What is going on here? Who is this dude that's in front of me? Because I thought he was just a bull, a bulldozer dude." I told people to do this. Right, this is how you weigh a, a fighter. How the fight is going to go? Mm -hmm. You take all their fights. And you take those guys and you put it on the other guy. And mm -hmm. if he can beat those same opponents, mm -hmm. the same fashion then you're going to have a good fight. Yeah. I took all the Spence opponents and put them against Mikey in my head. Mm -hmm. I don't see Mikey beating none of them. Right? Mm -hmm. Then yeah. I take uh, Mikey Garcia's uh, opponents and I put Spence against them. Mm -hmm. Spence destroys them 
and knocks out all of them, he would have a perfect record. Mm -hmm. That's when I came. I said, I say, it's going to be a hell of a slaughter. Mm. <laughs> Let me ask you this quick slaughter. Let me ask you this quick question. So now that, that he's done this, like, who's the next logical thing for Spence? Like, what's the next challenge? Because I heard some other dude was talking reckless to Spence, no. and I, I was on some. I mean, he, he, about Sean Porter? No. Yeah, one somebody uh, was talking reckless. Okay, I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let B answer that real quick, yeah. and then I'm going to tell you the truth. On those okay. Things. Yeah, real quick, because well, at this point, what's the next challenge? Because we all the consensus suspense is that dude. So, well, what is what it is, all? Well, Porter just really took an L. So let let's let's look at that. Porter <laughs> does not need to be calling anybody out. That's one, two, and then again, Porter's the, the it, Porter's issue. Yeah, I mean, he, he's he's a true mm -hmm. welterweight in that regard. But the same issue is Mikey's same issue. Like he's the dude that fights on the inside. He's constantly moving forward. Spence is going to jab his head off mm. and just spin around him all night. So I don't see that being a good fight, but I mean Spence, he's gonna get a big money fight with Manny. That's gonna happen. Wait, yeah. Manny want that smoke? No, no, Manny Man. doesn't want to fight. Manny, okay. Ma Manny would he Manny didn't look like he wanted no, to fight, I, but Manny, it seemed like it was gonna happen. No, <laughs> they brought Manny in the ring or something? Yeah. Oh, he brought him in the ring. He called Manny out. They brought they this oh he they, tried to get paid. Okay, he, <laughs> set, he set Manny up. He set Manny up. He put front sides the seats for Manny. Stop All right, it. and Floyd. He paid for Floyd and Manny's tickets. Stop they were five thousand dollars a piece for those front row seats. Uh, uh, Jerry Jones uh, made sure that he, you know he covered that for them. Mm -hmm. He asked specifically for those two to be there. Ooh. Okay, he um so witness the beating <laughs> to set witness it up. The thrashing wow. to set it up. Now remember, Floyd is his boy. That's the dude that gave Floyd the black eye and made Floyd stop sparring that day. That's oh. the dude that knocked oh. out um, Adrian Broner while Adrian Broner was standing up when they were sparring and mm. made Adrian Broner cry. That's Whoa. the dude. That's the dude that he spars with the Charlo brothers. He, mm. man, mm. man, listen oh, here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you had Sean Porter. Mm -hmm. Sean Porter was supposed to fight him this fight, right? Mm -hmm. they, they weren't supposed to be no Mikey. It was supposed to be Sean Porter versus him. The, That's the, what the, I remember, the, yeah. yeah. Sean Porter didn't want that smoke, so Sean Porter fought his mandatory. Oh, sorry, I got my mandatory, you know what I'm saying, this dude over here. Oh, this boogeyman stuff is true, then. No, nobody want that dude. He, Sean Porter's going to mm -hmm. avoid him. Sean Porter will give up his damn belt before he fights him. Mm. Sean Porter is looking for a Keith Thurman fight so they can cash out two bums, go their <laughs> way, go that way, all right? Manny is looking for that Floyd fight. Manny is trying to stay relevant, keep a belt so Floyd can fight him, so he can get that money. Mm. I don't want Manny to fight him. <laughs> I don't want. I'm not a man. Man, man, like okay. man you okay? Are you no, okay? <laughs> no, that, that's that's not nice. What he would do, man? That's not nice. That's a grown uh, old man. That's an old man hmm. will be destroyed. No, I don't want to see that. Like, no, yeah, yeah. that's like okay. All right, got you. What you been playing, kid? What you been playing? Let me talk about it all day. Vision. Woo! Yo, me and Monkey. Shout have been in them division streets. Yo, shout out to you and Monkey, the only people in the ILP division clan. Salute y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? You don't, you don't stop clan shaming me. All right. Uh, I'm, uh, we, when we get to uh, is division any of these topics? Oh, that's no. the first. That's the oh, first. Okay, yeah. so then we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about the issues because everybody's out here with the deliver division love. So I'm gonna give you some Ooh. division hate. Ooh. But um, mm. uh, yeah, uh, I told y'all before Anthem was in the bushes. Anthem. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how Anthem would survive the onslaught of this. And, and and these guys coming. Mm -hmm. but, um, but mm -hmm. this game is everything we said is gonna be. So let's let's get to the topic. Let's so get to the topic. We'll get to that. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Woo, all right. And of course, it's me, Lord Cognito. The cooperative experience, Lord, and everything else having so much fun, man. Division. Oh, so much, man. It's it's been insane, man. I've been doing um, I started season of Drifter though, just to get a touch of that, you know what I'm saying? Invitation now. It's actually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? The story's lit. Shout out to Sinister and all that. We've been doing that, but yeah, it's been division all day. Shout out to Dizzy in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Attic Whiskey, Biddy Matt, Sinister, Mark Smooth. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about the clan stuff later. Hashtag blame king. <laughs> Yo, y'all had this whole thing going, and you had people jumping. I'm like, what the hell? Why is that thing going crazy? And I look, and it's like, it's King's fault. And these dudes had screenshots, and like, he's yeah. keeping the clan exclusive. Yeah, we got to put you on that. Throw you under the bus right quick. You know what I'm saying? 
dudes want them clan rewards right now because like the clan is really a thing now. Yeah, bro, you know what? I got to shout out to Dizzy on that fraud because yeah. you sitting out there talking about you out in these streets. I ain't see you out in the vision now one day. He out here, how sway? How? <laughs> I don't see you, Dizzy. Nah, Dizzy was rocking. He was rocking. He was rocking with us on uh, what day was it? On oh, Saturday. One, he was rocking with Saturday. One day on the weekend when I don't play. <laughs> He don't come. Did you say he don't come outside like that? You know what that is? You when Debo in the streets, people ain't outside. <laughs> Savage. Savage. Anyway, so we got that going on. So, uh, so we got some announcements to make, sir. We do have some mm -hmm. announcements to make. Mm -hmm. So our Sekiro Gleam giveaway has come to an Ooh. end. And once again, shout out to our brothers from the north. Mm. Brothers from Winterfell, mm -hmm. once again, like the, like the Skrulls have invaded our land <laughs> <laughs> to steal our Sekiro code. Ooh, I gotta be stealing. <laughs> shout out to, shout out to the North. Code. Shout out to the Six. The North. Shout out to the North. north. <laughs> oh, hold on, real quick. Five dollar super chat. Yo, Raymond Morrell. Thank you, brother. He said, "Hey, Lords, I put down with this Division Clan. I'm struggling in these DC streets by myself. Cake bag. We got people Listen, super chat for this add, invite, bro. Add me on Xbox." Uh. King David OTW, same as my Twitter. All right, mm -hmm. so just add me. If you don't add me, I don't see you. How about that? <laughs> so you heard that, Raymond Morrell, add him, and then hopefully you get an uh, invite. Wow, you know? he said hopefully. This hopefully. dude, like, yo, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> yo, guys, uh, my bad. What's going on? With the, so, the, so the North invaded? To the North invaded yet again to steal our Secky Road codes. I thought it was going to be me that won, but you know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> conflict of interest. But. Exactly. <laughs> so, the winner of our Secky Road game giveaway is <laughs> Lord Ray CK77. Oh, Lord CK, Ray. I know Lord him. Raymond Koo, thank you so much, my brother, for all the support. You are the winner of our Gleam Sekiro giveaway. Wow. So look out for um, the code in your DMs. Well, first I'll contact you and you let me know what, what system you want it for. And then we'll get that right over to you. So you're ready to go by Friday. That's what's up, man. Congratulations. So and thank you to everyone, to right. everyone who entered. So, uh, And we'll let you know in the near future what our next game giveaway is going to be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And shout, shout out to Lord Snaldo for once again, yeah, being, being the, hammer, the, yeah, <laughs> the hammer and making sure that these gleam giveaways go smoothly. So, yeah, thanks. man, shoot up, shoot up to Petey, man, because uh, he he has to deal with a lot of uh, shistiness <laughs> and people trying to get their finagle on, you know. What oh saying? my god, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, shout out to him on that, but uh, yeah, man, also. We got another announcement too, so shout out to us off for that. Yeah, man. Um, hear ye, hear ye, part two. As oh, you yeah. can see, you know what I'm saying? We we got that Lords of Gaming in the building, you know what I'm saying? And um, first off, like um, the link, like the tremendous response that we've got from the writers, opinion pieces, the reviewers, is it's been truly humbling, man. So so proud of the site, you know what I'm saying? The admin. You know what I'm saying? Our editors, one of them on the, on the panel, you know what I'm saying? And all of our writers who have contributed. So um, with LordsOfGaming.net, you know what I'm saying? It's being like a brand that's like grassroots, just kind of a, a new entity. It's kind of inspiring to see all y'all that's really rocking with us. And it's built up from the ground up, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a passion of real gamers. So shout out to everyone who support that LogNet movement, you know what I'm saying? But this is the yeah. second call of arms now. This is the second call of arms. So now... We're actively looking for those who want to get into games media with a specific purpose on like breaking news. Like that's on like a very timely fashion or just commentary or any of the latest news that goes on. You know what I'm saying? So we love the talent that we currently got. Y'all nice. This is no, this is y'all good money. Now we trying to expand a little bit more. So, um, yeah. So please, like I said, when you get a chance, go to at Lords Gaming Net. I'm going to put that in the description. That's the Twitter. So at Lords Gaming Net. Give me a second. I throw that bad boy in there. And um, yeah, hit that up. If you look at the top of that, it's gonna be pinned. There's another hear you, hear you with an application. Hit that up, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, hit my it'll be to myself and our, our editor in chief, Lord Dizzy, who's in the chat. We'll be reviewing the next round of worthy logs, so Lord. So get to it, you know what I'm saying? And we want that gaming news in the realm that you know truly comes from the people. Finest. You know what I'm saying? This is from the people. Yeah. This is grassroots, man. We started something new and we want real gamers behind it. So again, at Lords Gaming Net. It's in there. 
hit it up. You know what I'm saying? If you want to talk about breaking news and all that good stuff. Well, what he's looking for and what we're looking for, we're looking for that new DJ Academics. We're looking for that dude that's on top of his game. That dude that, you know, the try hard dude that anything that he hears that he that he digs and he finds out the truth to it. Like um, the finest. The finest is always hitting me with breaking news. The word. And I'm the, the finest. I'm shouting. I'm shouting you out right now. I really think this is up your alley. You know, Facts. I'm glad that you jumped in here right now and you jumped in right on time. So I really, honestly believe this is really towards you. Mm -hmm. uh, you. You already got a toe up in the in the mix. So yo, shout out mm -hmm. to you guys, man. Shout out to young Chris. Young Chris is young like me. Chris, yeah. <laughs> Everybody like <Yeah>. academics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm that's what's up, man. Yeah, we need our little academics, you know what I'm saying? For the Lords, break that breaking news in the gaming culture, what's going on, you know. But uh, like I said, love to everyone, man. It truly, I mean, what we've we been like live for what two two weeks now? Like it's not even that it doesn't feel that long. It doesn't you know? feel that long at all. It's been not even a month, man. And just yeah. to, to see the people that are just see what we're doing and really just want to take that opportunity to jump in and, and do something they've probably been passionate about but been afraid to do yeah. is, is amazing, man. Like we have just so many people that are just passionate about specific subjects, whatever, and just, just go out there and do it, man. Like, Absolutely. again, we, we're so happy to, to have you guys come on and be, be willing to write for the site. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's been an amazing turnout. It really has been. Absolutely. So all you Lord academics out there, like Jonathan B said, make sure y'all sign up. Your lordsofgaming.net. Yeah, yeah, it keeps logging me out. I don't Oh, you'll be about to nuke the podcast again. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, oh, I'm not, I don't know how to leave. He like he definitely is because he's not he's now in the oh, LP. Yes, man. he's getting ready to nuke the podcast. It keep, <laughs> like a second ago, there was two oh. of my icons pop up. Like Google Hangouts is tripping right now. All right, bro. Just stay stay where you at. <laughs> <laughs> they don't move. Don't it, move. It's not up to him because it's about to boot him. No, 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 no. If it boot him, it's fine as long as he don't manually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh no, what happened? Oh there? boy, what nah, we, it, we live, Google man. Hangouts is messing up, man. Nah, it's only messing up on yours. No, it's. I never had <laughs> this know what issue until when you today. Respect Combat talk, you won't stop being pushed around. <laughs> yeah. pushing you around. Yo, Jonathan B said, Can we start a fund to get addicts with better internet? Yo, they going in right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so shout out. Oh, oh I see Lord Snaldo in the building. What's up, sir? How you doing, sir? What up? How you doing? Chilling, chilling, man. So let's get into this uh poll. Last week's poll results are in, and the people have spoken to the question. With the recent PS4 firmware announcement allowing remote play functionality to iOS phones and tablets, do you think this will eventually lead to Sony adopting a more aggressive streaming approach with PS Now? The winner at 61% of the three-way ILP poll is yes. Similar to xCloud, <laughs> PS Now will also evolve to any device group. Coming in at second place at 26% was the no remote play has existed for years. PS Now will also remain the same group. And coming in at last place at only 13% was the I don't care. I'm not interested until I get PS Now or my toaster group. <laughs> Shout out to all the loads who participated in last week's poll. Lord King, where are you at with this, man? I told y'all. <laughs> I told you, you Sony dudes out here are so reactionary, just like Sony. They always watch what everybody do, and they follow them. They follow monkey see, monkey do. So Microsoft <laughs> is out here with with the cloud. We're gonna move this way. We're gonna okay. We're gonna move this way. We're gonna do it too. That's how it goes. Like, they, they just copy. Yeah. And they play like, yo Sony <laughs> trendsetters. Sony's out here and he's and he's gaming. Shit. Shut up. <laughs> Chris, you hard on your neck, on your neck early again. Yo, Chris, Chris, yo, stop it, bro. It's, it's really getting disgusting that one week <laughs> Phil say something, and next week the, the new head, the dude that because the other dude got assassinated. What happened to the other head? He got assassinated. Why Phil is the only consistent in this in these streets, and all these heads is disappearing and, and can showing up with new bodies? Who is these new people? Shout out oh, to the new people. Who is you? <laughs> yeah, so, so King, King definitely feels that way. So we got that going on. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dreadpool. Yeah, I see, bro. Yeah, man. So we going to get into these topics. Attic, please don't nuke the podcast. You still here, sir? Is he? Oh. oh <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Okay. okay, okay. okay. We'll make sure. Okay, okay, cool. So let's get into these topics, man. 
I got PD in the building, but um, Lord Attic, man, what what's going on? With we had a big launch this week, right? Yeah, oh. we did. It's uh, the <laughs> the division. I well, I had to mute my mic. I have stuff going on. Would you prefer me to keep it on, King David? I'm curious. <laughs> I want to know what's going on in your life. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, so you know, obviously, <laughs> there's no no secret that the lords are well all of us besides lord sovereign mm -hmm. are uh you know a big fan of uh loot shooters well we play mm -hmm. quite a bit of them except for anthem mm -hmm. oh, but <laughs> and early but <laughs> today uh you know we actually had the division two pop in uh mm -hmm. you know uh, a lot of us besides lord king i, I don't think lord cognitive you know a after a couple weeks you stopped playing the division with me right oh um, what division the one? original division yeah, me and you yeah, were um, so, on the uh, island. They they banned us. They was mad at us. Yeah, was you know, we, there there was the the what was mm -hmm. that thing called that was supposed to be their raid in the division? I keep forgetting. Oh, the Rikers Island. Yeah, Rikers Island. Yeah, there was. We had that. Uh, you know, we had all that going on. But now yeah, it feels like with the division two, I actually played it. Uh, shout out to Lord Cognito. It's it's actually Ooh. it's a really good game. <laughs> like, mm. It's big coming from you because you. Like myself, well, I mean, you were even more of a quote unquote <laughs> division hater than, than I was division one. Yeah, I, I on multiple, I'm sure you could go back in the uh, older episodes and see me multiple times saying that uh, I won't touch this game at all. And I played it, I tried it out, and mm -hmm. it was a running simulator. So I stopped playing. <laughs> so, but you know, th this game, they fixed a lot of my issues that they had with the franchise. Mm -hmm. And it just shows another thing that I'm honestly starting to think Ubisoft's the best publisher of this generation. Ooh, like, it's funny you mm -hmm. said that. I was on shout out to PTK Glam, shout out to the Shop Podcast, Game of Fortes in the chat. We he had that as a topic, and he had Capcom and some other, and he's like, "Is Ubi like the best?" You know what I'm saying right now? And an argument could be made if you really look at that resume, right? Yeah, like they they took. They couldn't fix certain things from the original division because it was built into the actual gameplay mechanics. Mm -hmm. But they're like, look, we'll fix everything else but that. But we mm -hmm. got you with the division too. And they had us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> facts. No, facts. So <laughs> now that it's been out in these streets, I want to get uh, PD in here, man, because, uh, you know, he is the resident division expert. Shout out to him and his stream team. He's always streaming that, as well as one of his great articles up on Lords of Gaming. Dot net. You can check that out as well. He does a, a weekly updates. So, P, man, it's been about a week now. You know, the first, I mean, this is the first week. Like, give us your experience with the game, your impressions. How are you feeling about Division 2 right now? So, uh, I, I will tell you this. Mm -hmm. I have about 24 hours already in oh, the wow. Division mm -hmm. right now. And mm -hmm. I'm only a level 26. And I'm still pushing content, like, hard. And I can't tell you how much I love going into seeing like what they what they've changed, what they've improved, adding the different weapon types because you know the 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 rifle, um, the assault rifles, mm -hmm. were the thing in Division One. They've they've taken everything they've learned from Division One, and they've taken it and just stuck it right into Division Two. And then they've improved on it, like the random pop-up quests when you're running around. I mean, it's 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 mm. very impressive what they ended up doing and changing and listening to the people. And I'm not saying like you know there the game isn't without bugs. There there's definitely a handful of bugs, um, like the the if you have um, a chem launcher and you're shooting a heel, mm -hmm. um, you can accidentally like shoot the thing across the room instead of dropping it on the floor. <laughs> and you can, end, you can end up seeing a lot of um, glitches yeah. within the, with, yeah. within the animations. Like if you knock into something on a wall and there's like a couple of things, it'll start glitching. And then next thing you know, you see like a stuffed animal just like bouncing across the room and glitching. It's, it's crazy, but I'm actually very impressed with what they've ended up doing. Mm, that's what's up man now again you've been championing this game like you've been waiting so long and um i guess it's one of those things where it's like do you do you feel like vindicated because I, I know like i said you've been you've been even when the anthem was strong like you was like yo i'm getting it but that division like you always was you know what i'm saying like it's true to that like pd so like is it how, how's that feeling like that they in your opinion kind of you feel like they delivered on the promise so to speak um, first, first, I'm not going to say I'm not like an, uh, Anchorman with uh, Fallout 76. So Ooh! I'm, uh, I'm very, 
very uh i'm very uh, even thought process towards it but um Mm -hmm. you know i i will say that i i've been waiting for the division two for a long time Mm -hmm. and they what's really interesting is that they announced division two almost a year uh to the day of the launch which Mm -hmm. was really interesting and many people didn't realize that Mm -hmm. and uh they've said that the game was already two years in development, Mm -hmm. which means they were only a year into division one and they already started developing division two. So they already knew that the IP was going to be a big deal and it was going to bring a lot of people. And I, I think they did a really, really good job of what they ended up doing and taking a person like me, who's a huge fan of the first one Mm -hmm. and seeing what they did with the second one. I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very happy with what they ended up doing. And I, I can't wait to see what they're going to mm-hmm. I think it's next week or the next week after that they're going to activate the uh the tier 4 mm-hmm. uh, I'm sorry the world tier 4 into world tier 5 mm-hmm. because they they haven't activated that portion mm-hmm. yet. Oh. So everyone is pretty much sitting at world tier 4. No Show sure, shout out to Eggman who's back on your neck PD. He said Fallout 76 is still a goal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shout out to shout out to him being the, the only one in the online community over there. Now let me say <laughs> <laughs> and Gabe, <laughs> and shout out to Digital Tiger. He said that Ubisoft is like the new rock star this gen. Several new IPs with tons of content. Rockstar is just money grabbing off reputation. So he's mm-hmm. like, "We'll be out here." All right, okay, I feel it. So uh, let's get Lord Solve and King in here, man. It's it's release time. The first week y'all been touching. I- I well, got yeah. a full disclosure. I got a full disclosure. Ubisoft uh, has, you know, brought the king out. All right. Um, shout out to Ubisoft for sending me the sixty dollars to ah! go purchase a game on my PC. All um, right. So, All right. Um, full disclosure. Uh-huh. My my opinion is. Uh, Paid for so um, <laughs> wow. So we gotta put it the same on the I gotta I gotta tell you right now. I gotta tell you right now, hey, you know the king has been paid for. So I don't want y'all thinking, you know, this is not a paid announcement. This is a paid I feel, I feel like changer. there's too many occasions where you're being bought out here. You were hey, coming on me a couple sorry. podcasts ago. Well, because last week he was bought out on super chats. He only he only talks to the crowd if it's <laughs> yo, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not really and then he had all crowd. that hate for Anthem, but he got yeah, bought out. How did this come about? Like, all right, this, okay. So, so, so I was minding my own business, right? <laughs> I had my own business being minded, <laughs> and then um, in the mail it came and said, "A oh, Lord King David." I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" So I opened it up, and it said Ubisoft had the whole big thing. I was like, "Yo, wow. yo!" So I opened it up, and it was like, "Thank you for attending." Remember when I attended the joint? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Kelly. Yeah, yeah, and I put my name up on. Oh. You have been selected oh. to try our finest wares. Yo, so, Jonathan B said the realm has been compromised. I, yeah. said, EA owns Ninja, and Ubisoft <laughs> owns King. Yeah. <laughs> I, listen, hey. He, they they brought alert you can't go they go in it. Yeah, listen, listen, you can say whatever you will say. I'm telling you off the truth. I didn't have to tell you what was going on in the back door. I just wanted you to be clear in what I was saying next. You know, so um listen, okay. This this goes back to when we was go in Cali. Yeah, no, it, like, bro, you just upset. Um <laughs> we like, I mean, so that, when we was in Cali, <laughs> wanted that free we, we was <laughs> on that um for honest stuff and all this stuff. Mm. And the Dan Central stuff, and we was looking at all that stuff, having a good time. That's remember the no pizza. Yeah. All right. So um, it was a little thing that we signed up for the division stuff. And one of the developers was like, Oh, do you play? I said, Yeah, man, I get down, you know, real heavy on my Xbox. He said, Do you play on PC? I said, No, mm-hmm. not at all. Mm-hmm. He said, Okay, do you uh, what, what type of rig are you want? I told him the rig I was running. He said, Oh, you definitely should be playing on PC. Mm-hmm. I said, mm, don't think so. I really don't think so. That's not going to happen. I really don't think so. He said, look, well, you know, try it out over here on PC. So I went over there and I tried it out. I was like, yo, it looks really nice, but I'm not going to do it. So um, I said, you know, I'm already going to buy uh, the DLC and all that other stuff. He said, okay, took down my information. Mm-hmm. Lo and behold, dude was, remember me, send that joint to me. So yeah. that that's a nice thing. Um, I'm going to purchase it on PC. I'm, this rig is going to run that. I'm um, gonna we'll see what it look like. It is nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It is. It wait, is really. Wait, wait a minute. Does this mean all you guys are gonna play on PC with me now? No, no. that doesn't mean I'm gonna play on PC. Oh, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna play, I'm gonna play like one or two days with you, and then it's gonna go right to the bushes. Um, but check this out. 
all this love that y'all showing, yeah. I got a bit real problem because I was a I was basically the Jordan face meme on Saturday yeah. for no damn reason. Um, the clan. Now I see the clan there, right? Start the ILP clan. Yeah. Me and monkey, and monkey in my party. Mm. So I'm like, okay, click on his name. I said, let me see how I'm gonna just add him because I think you just click him. Yeah. And put them. I'm yeah. used to that. I'm used to click them and put them. <laughs> right. So it's no. They said, "Well, add his name." So okay, cool. Mm. I I stood there for probably a half an hour, <laughs> putting monkey's name in. I said, "Why is it not giving me enough words like letters to put this man's name?" In? I couldn't add the dude that was standing next to me <laughs> in the joint. I said, uh, "This is so convoluted." Dude. I said, "This is the most BSB." I, I, you know what I want. Mm. I want to add Cognito so bad so he could be admin so he can add people. <laughs> it is horrible. Oh. The, the, the next thing with that game, mm -hmm. I'm playing. I'm in the middle of the fight. I said, let me throw down my turret so we can we can set it up. Mm. Why is my turret still stuck in my hand and I can't toss it? Oh, the glitch? The glitch? Oh. And it happened on numerous occasions oh, that man. I'm running around with a hacky sack in my damn hand, mm. getting shot at and, and being murdered in these streets. I had to switch to my gun, fight mm. it off, and then after a while, after I, I do my um mm. the drone, mm -hmm. then I can throw the turret on the floor. So mm. that glitch, I don't like. I don't like the glitch where sometimes mm. you can't leave an instance and everybody, your whole team, when mm. you go in the elevator, mm. all y'all just fall to the floor. Boom. Oh, what I the hell see happened? one time. Yeah, I see one time. They do the little, the little head thing. I Thank see that you. one time. I see that one time. Yeah, shout out to Slow Mo. He said he had no problem adding his 19 age. <laughs> you got to give us an instruction or something. Yeah, so. Slow Mo, please hit me in the DMs yeah. and try to uh, work. walk me through this because obviously at my advanced age, I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> no doubt. Yo, this guy's go, go give me four to say shout out to you. Considering how hard you went at people on Destiny for not beating the clan and not doing the clan things, and you didn't even make a clan. Like, <laughs> I didn't make a clan. Thing. I'm just the in only one in it. <laughs> in, in King's defense, yeah, you have to also do two missions in the first settlement to unlock the yeah, clans yeah, 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 and then other people can't get into the clan unless they do the same thing mm. so it's it's not that's it, that's whack yeah that unless little, you got your clan badge to do you that. can't come in unless you got a clan badge no clan badge no joining <laughs> shout out to him so uh soft man break breakdowns any more experience with with the division on this uh first week of launch like I said, I've only done a little bit like a first the first couple of missions. I uh, opened up like the theater settlement, did the mission where you uh, rescue the leader's daughter and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, for me, the coolest part about it is what I liked about the first one, too, is just the movement. The, the mantling over stuff, everything is so smooth. Everything, I, it, it, it's beautiful. The, the the tactics that you have to utilize, I think, uh, are really smartly done. Mm -hmm. The fact that the enemies are so aggressive and they don't really care, yeah. they'll flank you. Um, it, it means that, like, you know, an engagement with, with, a, with a low level enemy can turn into something crazy if you happen to run up on them. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, before you know it, because I, I I had one engagement where I, I saw these dudes in front of me, so I, mm. I, I I engaged with them, but it was at a at a, like a crosswalk, so mm. there was an open street to the left and right of me. So mm. all of a sudden, their boys came out from the other side, and I was sandwiched in between them. So now. Mm my movement has to change completely so i'm you know i'm trying to get the high ground i'm you know doing all kinds of different stuff and that to me is the most fun part about it yeah absolutely so the looter shooter stuff like you know i don't go like deep into into the woods with it like you guys do but mm -hmm. i do like the fact that i'm constantly getting you know a new backpack or a new pair of gloves or something like that they, they, i like that but no doubt yeah man let me jump in man it's it's been it's been wow like it's been what what a launch man i just gotta i give i give up to ubisoft man because at the end of the day regardless of what anybody say like they had a lot of pressure you know what i'm saying especially with you know the anthem scrutiny and let's be real like none of these looters shooter these launches are never really flawless but this is probably as close to seamless as you can get you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying and, and for the record like Division two might not be everyone's style of looter shooter, you know what I'm saying? Everyone likes, but as far as like being polished, feature rich, for the most part, minus King's issues, non-buggy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I've ever seen that launch. So I mean, yo, they delivered for me like 4K, 
the HDR, Dolby Atmos, the light sourcing soft. Yeah, from the they, oh. Question about the HDR, because I think they fixed it with yesterday's patch. The yeah. first day, mm -hmm. I couldn't change my HDR slider, and it defaulted to like 250. And yeah. you know, our, our TVs could do like 1,200 nits. Yeah. So I'm like, what the hell? I can't move it. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, after the patch, it worked fine. Yeah, so that, and maybe quick with like about two or three patches already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, like on the X, it is stunning. Like it's the 4K, pretty good. Ooh, I'm can sorry, we clean me. up something real quick? Go for it. Would you guys consider Destiny, Anthem, and uh, the Division Two loot shooters like Borderlands? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think you could compare them. I'm sorry. Like, to the letter of the I, I law. Think, I think these games were built off the foundation of Borderlands, but yeah, they're yeah. not the same type of games. I, I would I would say I would say that to an extent because I would say that Borderlands gave off, like you said, a foundation. But if you really look at it, the, these are a little different in the way they're structured. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think the loot aspect they got from Borderlands. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, it feels like the more these loot shooters come out, the more people like it's not as good as Borderlands. <laughs> Well, and, and I'm just I, like, like, ain't nobody I, saying Borderland trash. <laughs> like, ain't nobody saying no, this. But what no. it's, it's good, but it's like a pure story. Yeah, right. it's a, and, and that's one thing about Borderlands. I never really played Borderlands, but is Borderlands a living game like these games are? No, or, it, no it's, it's not. More, yeah, it's more structured, linear in that respect, and it's right. PVE heavy. And I think a lot of people maybe thought anthem would go down that right route a little bit but no nah, i mean shout out to borderlands nobody ain't giving up i mean we give it up to borderlands all the time man we a lot of topics shout out to pax with that yeah. new borderlands gonna Woo! be there and we gonna be there shout out to that absolutely but yeah man maybe on that one you'll make the clan <laughs> oh wow. my god the wow. dude the dude the dude that's that's never on he jumped <laughs> he jumps in my parties just to say hi hi king what you doing i said yo i'm doing this attic what's going on and then, and then, he just, then he just leave. Like, yo, <laughs> he don't say. He don't say bye. Yo, he's the most uh, you, you confusing know, you, person <laughs> ever. Like he's the he's, he's it's, it's disgusting the stuff that he do. You, and everybody go, what the hell just happened? <laughs> you know that you know that gift of the of um, Fifty Cent in the back, like passing the, yeah, the car. Yeah, That's me. Like, it's like what's up. <laughs> Except for I'm not black, <laughs> but yeah, man. I mean, like I said, it looks fantastic on the X. Shout out to King PC, ain't no slouch, man. Uh, PD, I seen it, man. 60 frames. Oh my god, it's it's smooth, yeah, buttery. Man. I cannot front, you know what I'm saying? Like, the gameplay is literally a love letter to everything I hate about Division One. <laughs> like, everything I hate, like, <laughs> this is the, the way Division should have been. That Yo, I was sitting with Cognito, and the whole time I'm sitting there with my fraud alert on like this, right. <laughs> So I'm playing my game and Cognito's playing with me, right? And I'm like, this Cognito over here. I, I, he like King. Let me tell you, man. I like that. I, I, do, oh, I do want to make it very uh, aware that I have ordered a red one of that blue one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're we're going to be the fraud. Uh, red versus blue. Uh, red versus blue. Uh, <laughs> so so, so when, when King don't want to call fraud on himself, I have you guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, like this is the way it should have been. Like, like, like Kisov said, super aggressive. The enemy AI, that flank, they utilize their own skill. You got the faction behavior types. The hyenas are run down. They bust off with the wild. You know what I'm saying? Style. You got the true sons. The oh. drops. What's up? What's up? You know what I like about the 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 yellow bars, like the real boss boss yellow bars, where they be like the boss has entered the building. With like the high arm. high priority boss. They're actually kind of mean. Yeah. yeah. But when you shoot them and the mm -hmm. armor is coming off and they working it off of their body, mm -hmm. I said, wow. Now it's like, remember when you was complaining like they're so bullet spongy. Yeah. And I don't understand why. Mm -hmm. Right. But when he's taking off his armor, mm -hmm. he becomes less bullet spongy mm -hmm. and he's allowed, you know, you can do more funny. damage. It's really good. Is yeah. those golds will walk through like 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 the Terminator man? They'll just keep yeah. walking down the hallway, and it's like, what is it gonna take? Yeah. But it, it, later it, it, on, you, yeah. okay, so later yeah, yeah. on, you guys will actually experience when you're fighting those guys. They will actually rearmor up and then full heal, and then get a heal bar on top oh, of that. Oh, right. And you're just like, you've got to be kidding me. So yeah. it, it, us here at the gets, Iron Lords prefer to kill people before they do dumb shit like that. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, running, I'm running all of this. I've been running solo, and it is it is challenging. It is 
vastly harder. Even the story mode, mm-hmm. I can't believe how hard they made the story mode. Yo, yeah. Chow, though, you don't go to multiplayer inside the rooms and just add people. That's with what you, you get for playing that PC no, stuff. Right? I do. I do the whole entire story. I will do the first tier one solo. To the point where I get to to level thirty, mm-hmm. and then me and my buddies are all going to just start, start gearing up I'm because that's the only to way. I'm starting to see all PC it. players is like in a dark room with that light, no friends. Like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow! Yeah, they just really like the PlayStation PC guys. They just like the PlayStation. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. They just the like the PlayStation party. and the Switch guys. They all oh. in the dark corner in the closet <laughs> playing by themselves with the headset. Anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, it drops the gear set. Really rewarding. That that. T- that tactical gameplay, you know what I'm saying? What I like is that that seamless transition from like the outside to inside, you no know, loading. Um, the the ragdoll physics when you bust them, you know what I'm saying? Like the lower time to kill, it really makes you feel like you murking them, like it's super sad. Oh, shout out to all or nothing with the five dollar super Thank chat. You, Love the show, guys. Keep it up. Thank you, brother. Ooh. It means a lot. That's Thank how you. we read stuff that pops oh, up. That's how God. we read it. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> well, we're gonna in order for King to talk, King, King, yeah, yo, you all should find the, the, con- <laughs> the con- <laughs> all or nothing. King will only talk for the goads. <laughs> and and if a company backs up the truck to play that game, that's, that's right. All or nothing. Hey, all or nothing. See how it happens. Like that? you know what's funny? You know what's funny when me and uh when, when me and Erica was uh, going at that. You know, it's it's easy to say you can't be bought out to that back. That truck starts being backed out. No, Let's I, I want to point out that. That people's already bought Lord King David with just games. And that's like some money I, on top of the game. Listen, okay? I told you, listen, first of all, shout out to L Boogie. That's part of uh, ILP. Okay. She thought it was super funny mm-hmm. and making me play Anthem. She heard the, the the thing I put out. Hey, I'm not playing a game unless somebody purchases it. And I'm not gonna and it, it was hilarious that I get out and lay down. Hey. I had to I had to be a man of my words. Mm. So Lord you know Cognito. that one, it was a gift though. It was a gift. It was a she, she threw the cold nine, my way. Nine, Lord Cognito, nine out of ten. Uh when I go at a game, don't mm. I not play the game? Yes. You always go, you go, you go. I hard. know, I know. Yeah, shout, shout out to Jonathan B. They call him King Payola. Boss <laughs> is King, King all about the bag. <laughs> Anyway, now that we got King speaking part out the way with Payola, <laughs> yo, no heavy armor suits. I see what you're saying, PD. Like it feels real when you shoot them. You hit the crit. The spot. shooting feels real in general. Oh, it feels so much tight. Ain't no destiny. Like when you when you hit the. I, I, I yeah. would say they're on tar par, dude. Nah, yeah. let's not, let's those not. guns like, are good. When, when I feel guns, like I'm feel when good. I shoot they something, sound it great. feels they like I'm great. shooting something. They sound great because they that sound great. They feel heavy. heavy. And shout out the rigs. One of my sponsors. Shout out the rigs. Mm. Shout out the rigs. Play good. Gear up, y'all. Get them rigs. Yo, be shout out. out shout out the brat. Mm-hmm. I ran inside brat room. Brat was like, "Yo, I need help, King." I mm. jumped in the room and I came in there with the automatic shotgun. Boom, boom, boom. It all was crazy. That, yeah, he's it felt telling, so good. He's not telling so the good. part of the story where the goat shot him and killed him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I love the whiskey too with the shot. What's up, Saul? Any game, any game that allows you to shoot grenades out of the enemy's hands and let them kill themselves with it. Like I do oh, that all the time. Yeah. Hey, I, I love that, dude. I oh, love I love that. that. Yo, tell me y'all don't be scared. Yo, so, yo, so Petey, don't you be scared when you hear doom. Doom, 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 doom. They shoot grenades over here. They're like, they probably got that shot. And their accuracy with the grenades. No, they accuracy to get you out of that spot. Like, they don't, all the days of you staying stationary in one spot, you playing like you did as a war, that's a wrap. Not only are they going to rush you, they're going to flank you. They're going to throw <laughs> grenade launchers at you. They got their own tech, their own sentries, their own stuff. Like, it's very aggressive, man. And I, I mean, like the difficulty. Go ahead, Peter. I got two things. One, mm-hmm. um, have you have you experienced the the rocket launchers yet? <laughs> no. You're sitting you're sitting there and all yours. <sighs> Do they got a gal oh, horn in this shit. guy? And you're just like <laughs> the whole area around you blows up. I'm sorry, wow. Chris. Language. Um, <laughs> yo, I'm sorry. Um, that's one. The Molotovs. When yeah. they put you on fire, I feel like Frankenstein. Oh, fire, fire, bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the, the thing with the AI, what, what a lot of people don't realize, and they've mm-hmm. actually did a deep dive conversation on this. Mm-hmm. In Division One, when they introduced the Hunters, it's a uh, more advanced uh, AI um, intelligence in comparison to what the normal. Yeah, I heard about the Hunters. I heard the talking about those. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So what they ended up doing was they took the 
information that they gathered from the AI from the hunters, and they actually took it and put it into every single one of the AI players. Mm. Now, you have that advanced AI, which allows them to learn about the flanking, to learn about where you're, they're going, and you, you have a vastly harder experience, and that's why they're always pinching you and cutting you into corners mm-hmm. and doing those things, which you're not, you know, you're not used to or thinking. And the other thing is that I haven't experienced yet, but I've heard people that are as low as level seven and as, and around, oh, and they've actually experienced hunters in the world mm. while they're running around. Yeah, but so I haven't we, seen a hunter yet. Like they just look like a regular dude. You take their mask. I heard this. Oh, those are the 52 bosses. That's what y'all talk about. No, 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 no. The hunters are totally different. They're just regular. They're, they're NPCs, but they're vastly harder to kill. Mm. If they come up on you, they will one shot you. Mm. I mean, they are wow. probably the hardest mobs you will, you will experience and fight with and deal with. And wow. they, they're really hard. And, mm they'll really change the experience of what you are used to mm-hmm. and they scramble they scramble your tech so but you yeah. if you beat one mm-hmm. you take his mask mm-hmm. right it's a mask that he drops and you get to take that mask i don't know mm-hmm. what it does i got a diamond achievement for it so i don't know what mm-hmm. it is. that's great i've never seen one i mean that's crazy and then the other thing i like too that nobody talk about is that they kind of addict they kind of got a zur character mm-hmm. with like this mm-hmm. random vendor that comes right pd so, that, like, so i have yeah. i so I have another person to disappoint me every week. <laughs> Tell me about this. Well, this, this vendor, Petey. So, th- so this guy really he doesn't do much for you. This random character, they, they, he's almost like a snitch. So you mm-hmm. find him and you can talk to him, and he'll be like, "Hey, go see this person over here, Cassie." And then, like, you'll have a general area to find them, and then you'll be able to end up talking to them, and that person will have something for you if you complete missions for that person. So mm. it's it's going to be an experience. I haven't I haven't found this person mm. yet either. All right, two questions for you because I need help. One, all right, what what is this? I did a, a project. I've been doing a project. Where I get a little settlements. They be asking for their water, or whatever, whatever. I build them up, whatever they need. They get book bags. Or all that but then they gave me some joint and it's like track down some dude named meathead or something and i, I went underground underneath a manhole <laughs> and I, I'm, like, I'm like where is this dude they want me to find i can find him like oh, yo oh. shout out to stitch yeah <laughs> yo, he put hey king read this i'm paying my fee for the clan right now <laughs> Man, <laughs> unbelievable. Is, that, is, that, is that what's going on here? <laughs> like, let, let, let me, let, let me, let, I want to break down this super chat. This man is a genius. He A, paid King to read it. He B, and at the same time, he just got in the clan all in the same. Yo, the same brother. Yeah. Yo, the stitch. He rocks with us, man. I'm rocking this stitch. Crazy, man. Put it right here. Put it right here. Yo, so after, can you have to get this done after the podcast. There's, there's people out here. That, people I don't game on the weekend. Sorry. Oh See you Monday. Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. It's. <laughs> you know what it is on the weekend, man. I'm so oh, dang on tired. Man. Did you see my face last night? Yeah, you, you, that's why we have to wake you up every morning. Yeah, you know, you podcast. don't wake me up. Stop lying. Stop frauding. So, uh, <laughs> Cognito, do Cognito is up at Lord like seven Cognito, o'clock in the morning. Am I not here? Am I not here every morning without being woke up? True that. He been on it. He been on it. Oh, I don't know what, what this a, new thing of which you sleep is. sleep over here as we woke up every morning. Listen, I don't know what this you. new thing with you is, but just this is new with breaking you. My we're we're waiting for you to get back to normal. I'm breaking I'm my alliance with you, King. Hey, how about you add me as an admin today? And then I'll add Stitch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. I told you. Before you head out. I told you. I got you. I'm going to put you as the boss. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, like so, so Petey, like them dudes, the bounties, that, yeah, that bounty, like how you get the dudes. So, so there's there's a couple of different things. One, you'll eventually meet this guy by the name of Otis, mm-hmm. and he'll actually be able to give you bounties um, mm-hmm. with, through Intel Tech, which you'll eventually get uh, mm-hmm. from unlocking him from one of the settlements. Mm-hmm. But there's also with the projects in the settlements once you complete the projects right, they'll give you a big chunk of xp mm-hmm. and then some of them will also give you a bounty to go after right. those bounty characters will are more people that'll give you more xp mm-hmm. and then on top of that they'll some of them not all of them will be part of those 52 named people mm-hmm. who will drop the 52 playing cards I so you'll be able to get them if, if i don't do them get them in a time limit it's a wrap 
Yeah, if you die or if you don't get to him within 15 minutes, it's done. Yeah. You're done. Oh, so they'll, I meant they'll, they'll eventually come back. They'll okay. eventually come back. Got you. Now, it, are they staged everything on the map once they, they stay there, or it's just you got to go to that general area and then find them? It depends. Some people, when you go to their area, you'll be able to clear them, kill a couple of the mobs there, and then you'll move to another area, kind of like you're searching for them because they're you. not exactly there. Got you. Um, but yeah, but you don't, I wouldn't worry too much about never mm -hmm. quote unquote seeing them again because okay. like i said once you meet that guy otis who gives you the mm -hmm. quests you'll mm -hmm. be able to do all of those missions all right. again all right cool so yeah that was pretty but much the other, you get yeah the, the other trick is is that mm -hmm. if you're trying to get to, to level 30 mm -hmm. you don't do any of your side missions yeah your side missions will give you exactly 33 percent of a yep. level yep. and yep. eventually it gets to the point where you just like you're yeah. kind of like, all right, well, what am I going to grind? And yeah. those, and that's the time you want to like hit those Table up. Five. Yeah, that's what I was telling yeah. people uh, in 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 the clan um, to what you call to pretty much do all stop this. <laughs> <laughs> do all your main missions, right? And then once you beat all the main missions, save all the side missions for later because that XP grind gets so harder to level. So yeah, shout out to you, shout out to uh, Marco Style. I think also says something similar. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's up. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, as far as that, I mean, I think it's the end game for days, man. So much <clears throat> in it. I've been telling people like this game gonna steal your soul, man. If you got other games that you want to play, like. You play Division right now, it, it's going to be a wrap for you playing other games right now. It's just that good. And, um, yeah, man, this is this is kind of like I, I'm on my attic wave. Like, I'm on my told you so moment. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, didn't. I love that game. You know, <laughs> you know listen, man, it, it's one of them things. I told y'all this thing was coming. Not y'all here on the panel, but just people in general. You know what I'm saying? That this was coming. That Ubisoft learns from their mistake. You know what I'm saying? No one listens to their community and applies the fixes better than them. You know what I mean? And look, we got a true battle now for this looter shooter title. You know what I'm saying? Destiny's on watch. Anthem. I don't know what's going to happen now, but man, you got to buckle up. And this is what it is. So that's what I got. <laughs> On it, <laughs> but you laughing. <laughs> you know, I'm saying, shout out to Ubisoft for that dough. <laughs> King, uh, and King, you will appreciate the Phoenix Edition statue. Mm. I will take a picture when I eventually get oh, that thing out. Okay, that yo, this is, is beautiful. Shout out to Snell though mm. for uh, purchasing that two hundred and fifty dollar uh, package. Mm. So what he got with his package, he has a six scale doll. Mm -hmm. That comes in that it's super premium. Sideshow has been making six skill dolls for years, right? Mm -hmm. Now, these um, I don't call them toys, I call them dolls. Um, because they come with real clothing. We call it mixed media, right? And they come with real clothing, they come with a whole bunch of switch out hands, beautiful guns, uh, uh the articulation in the character, the dolls are I think it's like what 200 points of articulation, uh Snaldo, if I'm correct. I didn't even I didn't even want to pull it out because the thing was like I was like so worried that it was gonna get dirty that I yeah. just want to take it and stick it right into a case. So I, I um I automatically because he hit me in the DM and I automatically send him over to sideshow, which they do have uh six scale cases that uh they come completely in cases. So you can see like oh uh, I don't know if you can see one. Oh no, you can't you can see the um lobo right there, right? So those cases they're smaller. Then they're made for the six scale size that you can put on top of a, a table or mm. on top of your dresser or something. And they have built in lights that you can position to mm. uh, illuminate your character. So it's one encapsulation in the mm. cage. I think it's like 60 bucks, mm. uh, depending on the size for the six scale. But mm. anybody that wants that stuff, and if you purchase that $250 um, package, oh. please make sure you put it inside a case it's... because that is super premium. So this case, like, yeah, you got like these little lights and stuff that you could put place. Yeah, it has lights in yeah. it at the bottom yeah. and at the top, um, and you can position the lights towards the character. Once you pose your character inside the case, you close it, you seal it, 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 it seals it from dust, smoke, uh, any harmful UV lights that come in because it's tinted, uh, you won't, so that your character won't um, discolor, your character won't get dust on it, and it won't fade, you know, over time. Awesome. So, you know yeah. what I would put yeah. in there? What? My, my, uh, my Charizard holographic Pokemon card. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on, real quick, real quick, y'all. Before we move to the next tab, I gotta bring this to the PD at uh at Attic. They saying that we duck in the, the writing. They saying that the writing in it is bad. Can we talk about the terrible writing of the lines in the game? And um, something about sending you to DC when you're in the middle of a gunfight. 
well, they, they, the Dizzy going in. He he, he said is 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 bad writing and, and, and the wisdom writing and art. That, yeah, that's. <laughs> that. <laughs> Where you know, was the wow. writing just, and art? I just I just have one thing I want to say to uh, to Dizzy. You're lucky you're an admin. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna go at him at him. anyway. He was going at me on Saturday. Where's that, that writing and art? More for me, because I they don't care about no stuff. Okay, so yeah, let's talk. <laughs> you, because you you a writing guy. You, the writing is terrible. It's horrible. I've got you know what in certain games I've just come to ignore it. I I saw it and I was like whatever. But it, for me, it's one of those things like I never play with you guys, but eventually I will play with you guys because I don't care about the story in this game. Right. Right? <laughs> so yeah, it's not great. There's nothing. There's nothing amazing about it at least so far. Um, you know, you have your you know you have your scarred characters, your angry characters. You know, every, yeah. everybody's a an archetype. So. Right. Yeah, but so, no, it's, it's not great at all, and, it, and I don't think it needs to be. <laughs> right. Dizzy said that arc isn't story based. So what is arc? Because so it's arc? not performance based. <laughs> it's not story based. It's not graphics based. I'm confused. <laughs> not graphics. I'm not going to sit here act like like Division got some world winning story, <laughs> amazing character. I'm not going together though. Yeah, it, listen, we all know for the most part, this is some, you know, post apocalyptic style kind of, you know, world going cr to crap. I love it. It's the money flu. No, but like, I, I, I don't want to avoid what they're saying. Like, we're not going to sit here. I will say, like, Destiny Story right now is in a way better place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Anthem Story yeah. is a little better. No, no, no. Even um, Anthem got a better story. Beautiful. When you, Arc makes when me you, cross eye trying to watch that stuff. When you listen to, when you listen to like, the villain's monologues, when you find the, uh, like, the telephone caches and you listen to the villain, it, it's stupid because he's like, what if I'm telling you the truth? What if I'm misdirecting you? You'll never, you'll never know. Like it's stupid <laughs> stuff like that. It's, it's like awesome. Right. It's awesome. <laughs> At the end of the day, no one's gonna sit here and act like the vicious story. Is. <laughs> Woo! Like no one's doing that. Like, <laughs> if they are gonna win a Grammy, let's yeah, they, get they're it. Not, we're not going for <laughs> narrow. I feel like one day someone's gonna, BGA someone's here. gonna crack this, mm -hmm. make a good story in loot shooters, and they're gonna get, they're good, they're gonna pay out because of it. It's but called Borderlands. But I will say, yeah. this, people, <laughs> listen, I, I gotta throw some shade for the people who are on the Anthem train. Like, let's be real. Like, Anthem narrative ain't nobody's gripping like that. Nobody, like, to me, besides Owen, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like the rest yeah, of the most time, people couldn't care. even tell you the character's like, name. Anthem, I don't care what they talk about. It's like, yo, just shut up and let me get in the suit. Let me get in the javelin. I just want to fly. Like, so let's not <laughs> act like Anthem is so <laughs> superior right now. The only people who can put their chest out on writing a story right now is definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like right now with the drifting joint, the invitation to the nine, all that is crazy. That's lit right now. Like, De De Destiny's currently in their bag. Wait, Whoa. did you just say Destiny has a story? Oh, Destiny's in a bag. I'm putting it out right, it's right now. Just because Bungie understands how to do law. And, and look to Lognet later today for an article going up by our own Ancient of Frost, Joshua Redding, specifically Ooh. about the, the the invitation of the nine. You'll be oh, seeing we that. Oh, we did that Lords of, Lords of Gamer.net exclusive. Preview. Preview. Oh, that's what's up, man. Shout oh, yeah, Grammys. I see that. As, that and I, if y'all know me, y'all know I don't do none of those award shows. I have a, a particular bias towards them. So Grammys, uh, what, what's the other one? Um, the Oscars. Whatever the hell that they do writing for, there you go. It ain't there getting that. Go. How about that? There you go. <laughs> Listen, Division, tremendous launch. We'll see if it continues. It looks feature rich, uh, crazy smooth. It's been it's been a great start for Ubisoft. We'll see if they keep it up in the Looter Shooter Wars. Lord King, Google <laughs> is out here. What was going on? Yo, Google is out here. Yo, shout out to Google at the GDC next week. Mm. That they're going to do some stuff, and with, with if the rumblings is true, I don't really like the speculation part too much about everything, but. In the background, they're talking about Sega is working with Google. Now, I, I particularly saw this title, uh, this the story, and I, I ran what I put in the chat very quickly. This is my topic. Because <laughs> if y'all understand, I told you Microsoft isn't said it the, exactly like that, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Microsoft isn't the company that we wanted. We wanted Sega. <laughs> All right, yeah. so Microsoft is there by default. So Microsoft is always looked at with that snide eye, which Sega dudes is like, okay, I'll take them, you know, type of thing. And now if it's true that Sega is in bed with Google, this can be Sega's ultimate get back. Mm. They have the catalog of games you want to play updated. They have the catalog of games that can get 
you to purchase a system. They have the ability to put together an attractive system if they're working hand in hand with Google to Google has the cash. Imagine somebody with knowledge but no finance, and then they have a dude with finance and no knowledge. It's a mm. perfect marriage. If this is true, what does that do to the realm? Is that really that much of a threat? That's what I bring to the table. Oh, shout out to Don't Call Me Daddy. He said Dreamcast 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so they go in there. Boss Moose says Sonic gonna run out on stage. Yo, they out of control <laughs> right now. All right, shout out. Let's get this going, man. This is interesting. We got a lot of developments going on. Like King said, you know, obviously GDC next week. The rumors are piling up. Let's get. I just want to start with Solve. I want to start with Solve on this. Like, where where you at with these rumors, man? Is Google coming? Are they the threat that we need to be worrying about? I mean, they're the threat if if you're to believe that streaming is truly the future and that all this talk that people are saying I have about, you know, consoles aren't going anywhere, which I truly believe. Mm -hmm. But I truly believe this as well, that in the back of their minds, if they can ever get streaming to the point where it mirrors mm -hmm. super closely the local experience, you think every, they're going to. There are companies and, and companies that we love will try to go this route exclusively. Why? Right. Because the overhead is just that much less. Like the amount of money they'll be able to save with just giving you a platform as opposed to a piece of hardware mm -hmm. is immense. Like but it always comes down to bottom line, right? But it mm -hmm. also comes down to feasibility. Mm -hmm. If there's anybody who has a chance besides Microsoft to really make the streaming thing be a reality it's google mm. that's why i still even despite all of this stuff with you know partnering with sega with um with uh id being on, on stage with them at gdc as well they were talking about it's going to be there and people are assuming that that you know the next doom is going to launch day and date with with the consoles and whatnot for me it still feels like they, they're still talking about the uh, project stream I, I honestly don't feel there's a box associated with this mm. oh, that, wait hold on so you think that there's not going to be a dedicated console. I don't. I mean, there's it's there's never been a moment in time where four consoles couldn't coexist, mm, stealing my thoughts. being successful stealing my at the same time. It's tough. So now, you, how do you differentiate yourself, right? How did Switch differentiate itself? It made itself a portable thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I just think this, and, and 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 even looking at streaming now, streaming is getting crowded, right? Everybody's getting into that. So. It, you know, they and Microsoft are the ones best position to, 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 to capitalize on this. So mm -hmm. I think honestly, the thing about it that it is interesting to me is the partnerships. The Sega thing can still be a reality. Mm -hmm. The Ubisoft thing can still be a reality. The mm -hmm. uh, the it thing. But I just think it's it's about partnerships, about maybe exclusivity stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I still think it's that because honestly, why are you having a GDC keynote? Uh, you know, and and that's and that's why I understand people's thinking that it could still be a box associated because mm -hmm. they've already showed off Project Stream. A lot of people played it already. Yeah, that's what the it's not a saying, shout out to Lord Mods on Lordsagaming.net. He's got an article <laughs> up there about the <laughs> day, about Google's console, the specs, more and powerful than the Xbox One X. That's and that's another thing. That's mm -hmm. that's a weird thing to me too, mm -hmm. because if if the Sega partnership is true then something more powerful than the xbox one x falls into that same category that the dreamcast <laughs> fell into when it launched where it was, it, it, it was an in-between console that was great but the next hotness was right on its heels and <laughs> kicked it right in the teeth mm. so they so get to do them over again <laughs> So I, I don't know that they'd want to put themselves in that scenario again. I mean, the only way I see it if it's a super, super, super powerful console, like I don't know, man. Like I, that's why I don't see it being a console. Like, yo, 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 Sony sitting there with the mallet. Come on, put your head out again. <laughs> Put your head out again. Put your head out. Please. Yeah, right. Sony's so slow at reacting. They would hit it, and it would have been gone ten minutes ago. Oh, El Boogie going this. She said Google gonna do y'all like Facebook. All your data gonna be sold and breached. Damn. <laughs> in right now, Google attic man. Where, where you at with Google? Are they the threat now? Or should we be concerned? Google go in the bushes. Wow. Like I think they do have a possibility of doing something, but at the same time. 
Uh, look what they've done with YouTube. Look what they've done with the uh, Google Plus. Right. Why are y'all asking the dude with the poor internet? Why are y'all asking him? He like, no. <laughs> wow. The, 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 yeah, I'm going to go at you. You went at me today. How about that? <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I'm the only one here streaming stuff. So well, This is true. You're, you're, you're not lying, bro. My internet can't be that bad. That's yeah. right. Uh, that is true. You so, are so, telling the truth. So let me ask you, what about these rumors we're hearing? Like, shout out to the finest. Yo, the finest, man. You better hit that application for Lords of Gaming now. Next. I told you already. Some news. But, um, yo, what I was going to say, what about the whole rumor of, like I said, the Sega partnership? Now we're hearing Crystal Dynamics. They made a whole bunch of hires. We're hearing about that Avengers game. Remember back then? Like, they talk about that could possibly show them. Mm -hmm. like, Sega. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask Attic this. If they make some solid game partnerships does that change anything for you it depends on what you mean by solid game partnership well, like, only one know right i don't now, think it could be it like we, heard, we know ubisoft we know ubisoft is going to have some role there consider that, that they hired what's her name jade raymond i believe um you know she was the former lead of um assassin's creed mm -hmm. which is your franchise you know what i'm saying she's also was on splinter cell so he's going to be there. She's been hired by Google. We know Phil Harrison, uh, AKA everyone's VP at some point from Microsoft and, and Sony, who's been a president at one point. He is also now VP there leading their game division on some AKA respect. the other Phil. The other Phil. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, wow. It depends on what their approach is. Uh, okay. They call him lesser Phil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it comes to what kind of, platforms they're gonna like i don't think sega is gonna be enough now sega got a lot of great ips that they could do wonders with mm -hmm. but i think that you know they're gonna have to have something more that appeals to you know my generation as well mm -hmm. uh and they're got to get something that appears to like my brother's generation because mm -hmm. I, I think right now they got that that those ips that appeal to that you know anywhere from 30 to, to 45 range okay and i don't I think, you know, they got the money to do it. There's no denying that. They could go in there and probably buy publishers. Mm, that's what but, I'm saying. They got that bread just on Microsoft level. They really want to go in. You know what I mean? It's just at the end of the day, they've always had a a way of thinking that gets them in trouble. Oh, my mm. gosh. Please stop, King. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Attic. You want to play me in Pokemon? <laughs> I'm done. So, so I ain't gonna even acknowledge that. <laughs> but it just depends on what they do. Like, I mean, look at it from a standpoint. They run YouTube. How mm -hmm. many issues do we have with YouTube, and we have no one to contact? But we, like, they yeah, they yeah, love yeah, dropping the ball in so many areas. Like, mm -hmm. like sure, they might put mad amounts of money into this into this into this industry. And then a year from now, they drop it because it didn't do what they I, wanted. I, this, like, I mean, the talk around this is that they've been working on developing this platform or whatever it is for the better part of a decade. Like, so they're, they, they're in. They just needed to figure out how to get in. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think they're, they're, this is, whatever it is, I don't think it's slipshod. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Yeah, I think that they have a good chance because I don't think that Sega would be the only one that they would do it with. Yeah, uh, I think that there's too many IPs and too many. Now you know who they need to buy. Who? That uh, THQ Nordic. They get oh. that. They got all they need. Like, oh, that would be it. That'd be kind of crazy. Let me jump in before yeah. I give it to King. This is. I want King. Man, yo, Tuesday is gonna be interesting, man. Mm -hmm. March 19. Buckle up, yo. GDC is coming, y'all, man. I mean, so if you played the, the Project Stream, right, and you felt. Yo, it was, you know, it was what's up. We got that. We got the leak controller. You know what I'm saying? We saw the patents for that. We seen the Phil Harrison hire. We seen Jade Raymond as the VP. Like I said, Assassin's Creed lead, Spin and Cell, the Sega rumors, this Crystal Dynamics rumor with the Avengers game. You know, I don't know what to believe with the Sega thing, though, because it's like, I still find it hard to believe if that happens. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm a Sega kid. You know what I'm saying? So I can't, I can't get mad if it go down. But I'm with Solve in this respect. Like, I, I can't envision a market with four consoles like you come on four that's a lot you know what i'm saying but i get we'll we say this they got the capital they're extremely aggressive you know if you look at it it kind of reminds you king 
of a young Microsoft. Because remember, Microsoft ain't had no business jumping in the game industry. People are like, yo, what are they doing? Remember? Mm -hmm. So we got that. The key to me for, for Google is going to be this. Games, will they have true exclusives? Right? Will Project Stream be downloadable for local play? Because I think it's an L solve if it's stream only. I think that's an L. Now, we know many are still resistant to the streaming thing. I mm -hmm. get it. You know what I'm saying? But the long-term commitment and the power spectrum. This is where I agree with Attic. Like, they got one thing about Microsoft, like with OG Xbox, they took that L from a financial standpoint, but it was kind of like just to get in the game, right? But the difference between Microsoft and Google is Microsoft stuck with it, right? And then they aggressively they came back with the 360. They kind of ended their own era. Okay, boom, we jumped in. We got a, a lot of companies after the original Xbox, they would have just like, yeah, we done, we done. Exactly. So the thing is, if things go south early, right, with Google, with all the power they have, you know what I'm saying, what are they going to do? You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, it's going to be the new 3DO with Turbo Graphics. <laughs> I don't care what nobody. Like, if they, okay, what you say, so? You no, know, and that's what I that's what I think about if, if they mm -hmm. if it's actual actually a piece of hardware. Mm -hmm. I could easily seeing it being besides the streaming, um, it being a Game Pass type service where you're downloading as well if you have the capabilities to do that right i mean i think that's all fun and dandy but like mm. as of right now unless you're you know unless you go out and build a pc mm. i don't see a lot of people just willingly it, it's not the fact that people aren't going to do it it's the fact that it's not the norm people are used to building pcs to play games on pcs they're not used to to going to a, a web browser and playing games on a web browser like mm. obviously that could be something that could be built to the mindset right. easily and that could really go out for them because mm. everyone's got access to a browser absolutely i mean listen at the same time also the competitive everybody's streaming now like that's the new thing like we see microsoft loading up on all fronts you got the game studios the x cloud they got the x cloud the azure xbox live with the best online infrastructure switches in pocket you know what i'm saying with their hybrid space you know what i'm saying they got their powerful ips and all that and then you know the rumors are still that microsoft and them with game pass might still link up if the ink dries or you know maybe they're just not ready to announce it right now and we still got sony y'all like sony the de facto right. leader in gen so they got the huge momentum they got the cash cow ips with sequels they just sitting on so with a push of a button they could be like spider-man 2 god of war whatever you know what i'm saying like horizon zero dawn whatever like they're sitting on stuff we know the back compact is coming just whether or not it's gonna be paid for or not that's key right? <laughs> you know what i'm saying but um then we got you know ps5 hardware you know they're going beast so shout out to lord mods because um like i said he had that great google article on lords of gaming.net but um you know the whole thing is like if project stream <laughs> is rumored to be more powerful than the x then even though that's good, it could be a situation with King is saying where it's like, yeah, you're like a, you're like a Dreamcast, right? You're better yeah, than that's, yeah, that's what I said. Like it's gonna yeah. be a Dreamcast. Like no, no, that yeah. you don't want to be there again. <laughs> right. So again, which could mean short term L, right? Which oh, is you, you uh, jump out. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give it right back to you. I'm almost done. Yeah. You, you jump out. It's a it's a it's a decent showing, but then ultimately it doesn't do what it do. Now will they have the Microsoft in them? to say okay let's reinvest let's double down because at the end of the day you got ps5 gonna be out there you got lock if it's not more powerful than lockhart that's gonna be a problem you know what i'm saying well, and lockhart is not more powerful than the x no lockhart is because it's, no, it's technically on a teraflop level yeah on a teraflop level yeah. I'll, I'll get to that go ahead yeah no i mean that's pretty much it i mean my whole thing is tom's gonna tell how serious <laughs> they truly are you know what i'm saying or if they fold up like you know google plus when they try to challenge facebook <laughs> like, it's time going to tell we're going to see how real it is you know what i'm saying in a minute but tuesday i'm tuned in man guy king this your topic bro. well okay um mm -hmm. we all know google is juggernauts globally right mm -hmm. so cash wise they, they won't be strapped now will the higher ups see the benefit in a gaming division mm -hmm. um that's the question now, will they be able to link all of those services that they have with Google into the system to, to shoehorn it, to Trojan horse it? Okay, what, what, like Microsoft, these big companies want to Trojan horse their system to you to give you services. Right. See, everybody is uh, complaining that Microsoft 
offers all of these services mm -hmm. and they but well, where's the games the games are coming but these services are here now once you start engaging in all these services like buying your movies in this one spot watching your shows in this one spot if you have your xbox on and you're watching youtube you're still engaging through your xbox right now if they i believe they're going to give you a system if they said the system is more powerful than the x and it has a better cpu mm -hmm. whoa mm -hmm. now they're not in the same position as the dreamcast thing because remember they said the Lockhart is going to come in under the PlayStation, right? But then you also have the Anaconda that's over that, right? And the PlayStation is like right there in that middle. What if this is right there in that middle on par with the PlayStation? With the PlayStation 5? Yeah, but now the PlayStation has the pedigree and the games. Mm -hmm. This is what will keep them afloat. What can offset that? another company that they have a um a catalog mm -hmm. of games and a strategy and know-how that has been dominant in the gaming genre this is why i say sega is very important if true mm -hmm. because sega can help them with strategy in mm -hmm. areas they have no idea about right. so they won't be coming in blindfolded like microsoft feeling their way in the dark trying to feel their way in they will actually hit the ground running with the knowledge of Sega. This is why I say they're a credible threat. And will people purchase the system? Hell to the yes, I will purchase it. Turbo Graphics was my greatest system. Yeah. So if they Turbo Graphics, yes, I'll take that. Please let me get one upstairs and one down here in the back. <laughs> so but here's the thing like so said, do you think that is sustainable like no in, in this type of a market like somebody can't survive right somebody you know, oh has got to go. to go you know what I'm saying like for we've seen we've been around you know the lords enough to know that during that turbo i mean it, it was in the beginning right it was was it we had S S sega super nintendo whatever we had because turbo came out was the 16 bit era, right mm -hmm. we had genesis turbo super nintendo and at, that was it, right? At that point. And Jaguar tried to so, stick so his face inside just, there, and they got bashed out. I have out, a serious remember? question for you. If Google came in, and they had a console that really did well. Mm -hmm. Who would you Who would you expect to go? Peter Sony. Mm, I, I can't go there. <laughs> I to be honest, as much as I hate to say this, I'd have to say Microsoft. Like, like because Microsoft is going to be an app. <laughs> so you're looking at two apps. You're looking at that the PlayStation now. They're gonna be an app, and you're looking at Microsoft Game Services as an app. They they the, both those two will be out the door. Nintendo has shown you they can withstand any goddamn going thing, and they don't care about what's going on in the world. To them, they're in a bubble. They will mm -hmm. put out a system that will do 480p and will actually outsell that Google thing. So mm -hmm. I don't worry about Nintendo ever. I'm start calling but, you the chosen one, man. But you were able to backflip out of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, those two will die. I mean, listen, I, I so where you at? Who you think? It's a four-man race. It's a <laughs> four-man race. Who falls? I think the, the one who's most willing to do it would be Microsoft. Willing to do it because of everything else they put into place. Mm. I think. All right. All right. Now, let's take it from a standpoint of whose legacy do you personally would want to continue? I don't care. I don't. I mean, the hardware stuff. No, I'm talking about games, everything. No games. See, I don't think anybody's legacy goes in terms. I think game the games will continue, whether it be through a service, an app, or whatever. I think everyone's legacy is sustained in that regard. In terms of the hardware, I think Microsoft would be the ones that would be most apt to go, or or, or be in, in 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 the best place to go without but here's harming the their overall here's legacy. Thing, so there's another fact that we're not talking about, and this is a Sony included. We have to talk about the fact that even Sean Lade and Sony themselves said he envisions a console less future right yeah, so all of them all of them are positioning themselves long term for streaming and in that that so maybe we're looking at it different maybe we're looking at it from an antiquated standpoint that the console is necessary because that's all we know up until this point and that's but, why and i'm sorry i'm it, it, no all i was going to say is the streaming wars like to me it becomes down to who now controls streaming right right because they're all they're all i don't even i think that's way I think the services and streaming is <laughs> going. Got to go. I think the, <laughs> you, you, you I, I think yeah. the services and streaming is extremely important, but 
regardless what it comes down to, it's always going to be about the exclusive content on these services. Yeah, sure, I mean, look look at Netflix. Netflix wouldn't be where it is without the Marvel IPs mm-hmm. they've done there, without the uh, the House of Cards. Like These Absolutely. services, that's why Microsoft's bought so many studios, because they still need games to put on these services. Here's, here's the thing people are not talking about. And again, I'm not, again, we got to just look at it. If this is the new future, right? And everyone's gearing up for streaming this console, let's war. Right now, the reality is we don't know what Sony's streaming future really is, right? It, it, we, we would have to admit, based on the information we know right now, unless until we hear something with Sony partnering with somebody, as Bushes. of right now, Bushes. they don't have the long term <laughs> streaming <laughs> infrastructure set up the way a Google has and a Bushes. Microsoft has, right? We just gonna act like Nintendo has anything set up like that, <laughs> <laughs> All right? True, but here's the thing we, we, we will agree that Nintendo. Don't care. They, they, they're in their own bag, right? They're in their own pocket. They're in this portable space that they do not care what anybody else is doing. They've shown time and time again that they're going to do beat to their own drum. No one thought Switch was going to, I mean, I even think Switch was going to do what it's doing. So this little portable hybrid space is very unique for them. And let's be real, the rumors are that they're partnering with Microsoft, right? At some point that we know right now that Microsoft and Nintendo are working on something. They're just Game not- Pass is going to be on that Google right. joint. Which means <laughs> me and Microsoft playing in and grabbing them up and them two teaming if up. If anything right? I could see what Google would be is I don't necessarily think it's going to be a console. I think it's going to it's it's going to be on our browser where you'll click on it. It's going to have its own store. Yeah, I think it's going to have its own store. You'll be able to play anything. And, you know, I could even see, you know, Game Pass and stuff going to that. So, so let's 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 get it. Let's get this. Let's let's because mm-hmm. next week is coming. Woo! So we're going to have some final facts by next week before the next show. Yes, so I say this. I propose that we do a, a yay or nay. All right. Let's All go. those <laughs> that think there's going to be a system shown, an actual physical system. Okay. Let's get that. Yay. Yeah, I got the yay. A, a physical system. I yeah. got a nay. I got a nay. All right. We want it against us. Nay. Oh, something that was on his own. Nay, Ooh. nay, nay. No, I, I, I said nay. I said nay. Yeah, so you got so we got two yays and two nays. nays. So okay, me and King for the record. Um uh Tuesday, the 19th, GDC. Oh, hold up. You know, I'm gonna say yay. <laughs> But just just because oh, you know, punking out. But <laughs> I, the only reason I'm going to say yay is because there there has been a lot of controller schematics and stuff leaked, and mm-hmm. I wouldn't necessarily be there without a console to go with it. So I'm going to say yay. Yeah, all right, so shout out to all the chat. They say yay. A lone wolf once again. Yes, I look. You used to be in the South Hey, the the so according to King, according to King, I'm on their side. So you have a pretty good chance of winning this because I've been losing everything here. Like, <laughs> So we will see what happens, but yeah, console wars, man, heating up. Great topic, Lord King. Anything else you got on that before we roll to the next? No, uh, Sega, please. Sega, bring uh, it back, baby. <laughs> Cyber Gun to Virtual Boy, make it come back. You out of control, Lord Saw Xbox Live coming to other things. Yeah, coming to other things is correct. So, uh, last week, Microsoft announced at Microsoft and head of Xbox Live, uh, Dan McCullough announced that um, Microsoft was, or Xbox was bringing the Xbox Live SDK to iOS and Android. So basically, you could apply the underpinnings of Xbox Live, achievements, uh, party chat, all that stuff that you're used to seeing on Xbox Live could now be applied to Android and iOS games as the developers see fit. Mm-hmm. So that's important in that 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 is the be again another sign of microsoft's tentacles going everywhere and making sure that 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 the underlying guts of xbox live why is kick dancing while you're talking (laughs) Cause I'm going in. <laughs> Why is King dancing during? Like, like you're dropping a, a, a freestyle. Like, yo, the beat oh, is oh. crazy in my head. I'm like, keep it knocking, keep it knocking. Do you like that verse? Keep song? <laughs> like that verse song? He's spitting that hot verse right now. Keep it knocking, keep it knocking. Okay, so I spit the bars, man. Cause think like this. So yeah, I mean it's it's what it is. It's it's the beginnings of getting that Xbox Live infrastructure on everything. Um, and and it, honestly, the Xbox Live stuff specifically for Android and iOS is kind of the smaller announcement within the bigger announcement. So the bigger announcement is that with 
the Xbox Live X, uh, um, SDK stuff for iOS and Android is part of a bigger package, which Microsoft is called Microsoft Game Stack. What yes. Game Stack is, is a suite of all of their services, Xbox Live, DirectX, Mixer, mm -hmm. Simply Gone, Azure, PlayFab, everything that encompasses what you need to someone, develop a Microsoft platform. Someone turn off this man's my uh, camera. I know <laughs> you're getting crazy <laughs> over here. <laughs> it looks like he's in it looks like he's harassing a neighbor. <laughs> he is loving this. Yo, shout out Rising God. What's up, brother? Yo, boss move said King busted out them breaking two moves. He saw it, right? He saw it right now. <laughs> 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 it, looks, it looks like that rapper trying to sell a CD out the back of a car. That's right. Please listen to my demo. Let, let's all finish this verse. Clearly, King is ready to talk after this. So th this is the huge announcement, right? Mm. Because this suite of services basically gives any and every developer on any platform the tools to integrate mm -hmm. all of these services in all of their games and all of the versions of their games across all platforms seamlessly. Mm -hmm. This is really what they wanted to get at, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when you look at what you know, Epic trying to get into the game now, Google trying to get into the game, and, and especially Epic when they talked about how do you how do you create a better environment for developers, right? How to make things developer friendly. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously with the with the with the smaller cut that they're taking, that's big, but also access to the Unreal Engine um and, and, and those tools. So they realize the importance of giving developers easy tools to work with, allowing them to integrate all of their games and all of the services that their games utilize across all platforms. And this is what this game stack is. Mm -hmm. It is huge and even bigger than the iOS and, and, and Android Xbox Live stuff because that's encompassed within this. The game stack is really what is what back back when we first started talking about this sort of stuff, we talked about um Oh, I forget what the heck it was called. Tim Sweeney was beefing about it. Um, the, the development platform for Xbox and, and PC that was being used across the board. Right. This is right. actually... Please don't you yeah, Exactly, exactly. UWP, yeah. UWP. So this is basically a huger encapsulation of that, of all of every single one of those uh, services under one umbrella. It's huge. And, and if everybody adopts it the way microsoft is hoping and when it comes to people utilization of like the cloud and stuff like that if, if people adopt azure the way they hope they will with this sort with this package it's going to be huge for x cloud and microsoft's just sort of mm -hmm. involvement in platforms across the board moving forward is going to mm -hmm. be huge Lord King, you yes, I want to hear this dancing mood. Yeah, so baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so these PlayStation dudes last week was like, ah, it was I not there. Know. It was I there. It was tossing it up. Yeah, we on iOS. We out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can see our joint. We can check us out. You know what Phil said? Phil got his whole petty out. He said, I knew you was going to do that. I see your iOS, and I raise you some Android. <laughs> <laughs> your boy, Phil, the Phil Dominus, out here swinging his petty at you again. Check it out. The, the week after your high came down, he was like, yeah, because we out here moving and shaking, baby. <laughs> Who really moved and shook on you? You just really got shook out your socks. He Allen Iverson to all of you. Check it out. He just said, yo, we're going to put that on everything. Mm. Nothing excluded. Mm. My phone is down with that. Check that out. Right? I don't got an iOS. When y'all talking to Apple, that you cut the crowd in half. Okay. <laughs> dudes over there could play. Again, Sony with the non-friendly stuff. Again, somebody's left out with Sony. You left out with Sony, not me. Microsoft said, you know what, yo, King, man, we're going to put our services out on everything. Now, as far as what's so, so are you saying that Sony hates Android users? No, I just say Sony is always half button things, half button things. You know, I can't curse on the show, mm -hmm. so you understand what I'm saying. It's always half, but go full tilt, don't half <laughs> toe, don't stick one foot in the water, jump in the pool and stop playing. <laughs> so Microsoft said we're gonna give you the whole services. Now, what my what, what sovereign didn't tell you is all those services interact with each other and connect. So if you use that service, right? Let's say 
uh, you're playing on PC. They want you to be able to connect through your PC, through mm -hmm. your Switch, and everybody playing together. Mm -hmm. If if the developer allows it, and it's up to the developer, what platform he puts those games on, he can make that one game mm -hmm. that plays with everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no more. Uh, they use the, yeah, use those tools. Absolutely. Providing they use those tools is like a switch, like they hit the switch. Mm -hmm. What was the stuff that we was talking about before? Cross play, cross progression, right? right? That's that. Mm -hmm. So they they they're trying to eliminate all the barriers that's keeping us uh, uh, separated. Mm -hmm. Remember how you have different systems all set up. They are trying to get to that one utopia that we've always talked about. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, we can play together. As mm -hmm. you saw how Petey said, oh, he's over here. Snaldo said he's over here on PC. Well, mm -hmm. that won't happen if I'm playing on whatever platform that I'm playing on with this Microsoft uh, strategy intact. I'll be playing with Snaldo. Mm -hmm. Keeping my progression going. Mm -hmm. No, I feel you. I mean, definitely some good points here, man. Let me jump in. This is it's interesting. <laughs> One world government. <laughs> <laughs> Socialism. Yeah. So Lord, Lord King is uh, giving it up to Lord Phil, Xbox only begotten son already. You know what I'm saying? He prophesized it. <laughs> so to me, looks, man, this is just more, more of everything, you know, what they've been saying. You know, it's no surprise. Like, this is what they've been, they've been wanting to do for a long time. He said every device you know, that E3, there's nothing new to me. Um, My only question though, Saul, was like the long-term thing with the devs, because, you know, we know with Xbox Live, you know, being on iOS and Android, that's dope. But my thing is what incentive does a dev have to use the tools in the mobile space? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like to switch, I understand it. You know what I'm saying? Because they, you know, they're big, but they're not really moving out there. And it's clear that they've been using SDK. Right. You know what I'm saying? To, to try to improve on that level with Vivox and stuff like that. Again, my article. Lord's giving that net. Check it out. But um, yeah, man, at the end of the day, it's like, what's the incentive? Because because mobile market is its own little beast, right? So I got to see how they attack that. You know what I'm honestly, saying? Honestly, I think specifically to that point, I think yeah. it's more about games as you know like all these phones are getting more and more powerful they're easily a lot of xbox live games maybe 360 games maybe games that require you know less processing power something something along the lines of an ori or maybe a cuphead or something like that mm -hmm. that can be actually sold as a full download on a, on a phone like these razor phones that are coming up now are super powerful mm -hmm. so i think it's with that in mind, not necessarily. I mean, they're giving you the option, right, to retrofit it to older, to right. older games, and to obviously to new games coming to the mobile market. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know if that's really the target for it. They're just giving you the option for it. But I think this is with eyes on being able to put actual, mm -hmm. actual what we call you know core games right, right. onto these platforms. I, I get that. I guess my thing is the flip direction, the flip side, right? Because right. mobile space is like when I think of mobile, I think of like Candy Crush and right. modern combat. So like, let's just say Microsoft trying to get their hand in this, right, in the pocket, mm -hmm. and and giving these devs that that tool to make the next one. Like my thing is, what's the incentive? Because they really wasn't doing it before. You know what I'm saying? With with what was available, like they really. Like, remember when Windows 10 phone was out there? They really wasn't right. rocking with them tools. Like, <laughs> let's give it a like, just, You know what I'm saying? So my yeah. thing is, it's just like, I I'm curious to know. Shout out to Xbox, too. They had a great point. Jez Gordon had a great point on this. Like, because he he actually talked to Kareem Chowdhury, who's running this. Like, he's head of the uh, right. division, all that stuff. And, and he's, he's the one promoting the stack and PlayFab and all this SDK stuff. And it's great. I just want to know how they pitch it to the mobile guy to say, hey, Here's the incentive to use this, to mm -hmm. have the Xbox Live feature, to have that stack, to have all that great, these great features and actually create games from the ground up. Because I would like to see those developers create games from the ground up on the mobile side, because to me, that's the advantage then. Because if they start making right. the next Candy Crush or Modern Combat, whatever it is, and it's with that stack. Then Microsoft really benefits. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they won't benefit the other direction. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But I, I just think I think the mobile space is a little different. It's not because it's not my bag. But I, I do think it's a little different. I'm curious to see. I think yeah. I think the, the key thing in the entire game stack for Microsoft mm. is is Azure. Is Azure. Yeah. If everything obviously if they can develop the entire game from the ground up using the tools in game stack is great but for i think for microsoft the key thing is for them to utilize azure as their cloud based thing. and i think that's where the you incentivize them like okay if you use azure 
to proliferate this game across all platforms, right? If you want to put it on iOS, if you eventually want to move it over to Xbox for, you know, in a, in a different form or PlayStation in a different form, it's all built in there already. You don't have to do a lot. And that to me is the selling point where if you use Azure as, as the backbone of it, mm -hmm. you're going to be everywhere with no problem with, and I think that speaks that, you know, when it, when you talk about the bottom line and how much you have to spend, I think that speaks, mm -hmm. you know, that speaks stronger than anything else to these developers. No doubt. No doubt. We'll see, man. It's interesting. They're throwing a hand in there, man. That's all I got. Solve as good. You go to your top of four. Yeah, you it's funny. Like if you go to the, the, the game stacks, um, page mm -hmm. what they do is that they have they have a little blurb right describing what it is right mm -hmm. and they have they have certain words in the blurb that stay the same right we can help you stays the same mm -hmm. add to your stays the same mm -hmm. game and run it on and then those other words that are missing they just keep swapping in and out different words mm -hmm. to show how malleable this like the the entire service is like we can help you automate your tournaments mm -hmm. and your punk racing game and then they could and you can run it on an arcade you can run it on a playstation you can run it mm -hmm. on a switch they're swapping these words in and out to show that it really is an all-in-one sort of solution yeah man it, I, listen it sounds great all of it sounds fantastic i love what king is talking about as far as this unified ecosystem where there's fewer barriers to fewer fewer barriers to entry Right. I, I love it. I just want to see the implementation. I just want to see how they make it attractive for everyone to actually use lots of stuff. But it, it's, it's super promising. Like, definitely hear what you guys are saying. But we are going to move on. So, um, yes, I'm up. So, um, Project X Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, this, this, <laughs> this has been out here in these streets, you know. Um, and the questions are, you know, it was on Inside Xbox, you know, and the streets are buzzing right now because the question are, was this live demo of the X Cloud full gazy? <laughs> That's what people say. So the questions I got two before, because I got a lot to say on this and I'm gonna let y'all rock. But one, who on the panel saw it? <laughs> who at the round table saw it? And two, if you did see it, do you agree with the masses that this demo was staged or fake? So who saw it? I, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Attic, did you see it? Attic. Attic, see yes, it. I did see it. I want Attic to go first. So Why Attic, me? Yeah, you're first. You're first. Lord Attic, now that you have seen it, do you agree with the masses that the Project X Cloud demo was staged or fake? Yes, I do. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> I, I just don't see from what she was doing was was it's neither a it was fake or b the input lag makes that not play okay. okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. and i think i'm going with the left okay all right Lord, <laughs> so, Dude. Cloud, <laughs> staged I, or fake i i okay. gotta call i gotta call fraud man like i i didn't she didn't put her hand on the right analog stick once mm. during the entire demo mm. Uh, you know that that was a red flag for me mm. i was just like what was going on she's just hitting the triggers and using the l and it doesn't even seem to be Responsive. in con in conjunction with what i'm seeing on the phone like there, there were some movements like she was making there were slight movements on the game mm -hmm. that didn't correspond with the bigger movements she was making on the analog stick and it just it just didn't mm. Mm. No, and then and then it, another thing is like you've already showed in your announcement trailer. You showed you showed Forza already. Mm. Show something else. Mm. Lord King, Project X Cloud demo. Oh no, no, say they so okay. <laughs> so when she acts surprised that it was coming out. Yeah, and... there you go. Another thing. <laughs> And they put it in her hand. She kept tapping left on the analog. And I was like, the car ain't even going left. Whoa. I said, that's the same video you showed before. I'm sorry. I'm very astute. I'm not stupid. <laughs> um, My thing is, if you don't have nothing live to show, stop being called out on dumb things. Like, stop stop, stop tripping yourself up on foolery. Maybe mm -hmm. the, 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 the technology is there. And... 
Uh, you just they were didn't watching wanna, a YouTube video. <laughs> they, 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 they didn't want the hiccup to happen. You know how the hiccup happens. Something really goes wrong. <laughs> oh God, we can't. Oh no, we can't do that. Jordan face meme all week. So I, I think I think literally the only part that could have been worse than what we saw is that they were playing like Uncharted on that thing. Like, well, if they, you know what they should have did? They should have played something else. Just like oh. just like they said, they should have played something else. Play some Sea of Thieves. Play, play something play else. Crackdown. Play something play, else. Don't play Crackdown because you're probably going to crack your xCloud. <laughs> so, <laughs> I honestly believe and, and mm. okay, this is painting. I, I thought that they learned their lesson. Uh, with the yeah. bad showings, Ooh, the poor acting, the stupidity go. with with the narrative. Mm. If if you're gonna do a Nintendo, you're gonna control the narrative. Why don't you really control the narrative? Mm. See, where Sony half just, behind certain things, this is where Microsoft half behinds their stuff. Mm -hmm. When it comes to pre presenting things, they I, have always I, tripped I, they oh, yeah. self up you are your worst enemy get rid of these dudes in in, in your uh uh your pr team get rid of them fire them all take them out and release them into the wild don't bring them back Shut, listen when they go to swipe in their card make sure it's deactivated when they go to put in their, their password make sure it doesn't work don't let them show up to work any longer send them their check and send them home get in real people that's going to give you real advice and be real with you so you can honestly do this for real because this you know you had a platform that you was going to show this x cloud you messed up your damn delivery it was garbage let me jump in right because this is Whew. All right. <laughs> All right. Remember when you play the Telltale game, Static, and you make a bad choice in the game and the dialogue <laughs> box, it'd be like, such and such will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> remember when you play a Telltale game? Lord Cognito will remember this. <laughs> All right. First off, for the record, I believe in the tech. I believe in the Project X Cloud. But in my opinion, I do my my my, my Batiatis voice. So. <laughs> Once again, the Microsoft <laughs> presentation gods have failed me. <laughs> they have failed me. Now here's the deal. I did some dig. Shout out to Delala HD. She's going crazy right now. But I did some digging behind the scenes and hearing from my sources. It was real. You know what I'm saying? Now here, shout out to Lady Julia Hardy. She's co-hosting the Inside Xbox event. And shout out to the Women's Month team. Salute. But low-key, the Inside Xbox guys, yeah, the women were doing a better hosting. But that's another story. But anyway, just oh, say yeah. it. No. Whether it's her using that feathering Forza control style, because I heard that's a thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to disrespect anybody's skill level at the game. Or just the stress of playing the game live while interviewing. At the end of the day, even though I got confirmation that it was real, right? I still blame Microsoft here. You already know the skepticism day in and day out about how people think this tech is fugazi. Many people think streaming is not the future. So you gotta have an airtight demo of this tech when it's gonna be live. I'm with King. Like put her in position to win. So now, unfortunately, tech is getting all type of criticism. Mm -hmm. This could have easily been avoided. People mm -hmm. screaming fake pre-canned you know what i'm saying and i can't get mad at that based on what how it appeared right i'm not and i'm not gonna let it go like this is a big deal like this is a huge I, part of the future i'm gonna get i'm gonna get you at it like this is a huge part of the future of xbox they're banking on this to sell the masses like presentation gods like i've been on y'all now like it, it's not even a it's no it's no comparison to sony like the last two e3s i get it y'all got better but when it comes to this inside Xbox fan, I need better. I need better. I'm sorry. I need better because from my understanding, the tech works. From my understanding, it is real. You know what I'm saying? But that showing, that doesn't help y'all at any event. And it sucks because now everybody looking at it with the quad now, right, King? Everybody looking at it like... I Ooh. saw the video. I said, come oh, on, man, shut There's up. no reason to have it that stage. And listen, I've, I've come to accept what 
uh, inside Xbox is. Mm -hmm. I, honestly, I'm not mad at the at the show or the format of mm -hmm. it anymore. Like they, you know, it really is inside Xbox. They want you to show you the ins and outs of things that, as gamers, you never see or maybe don't even care about. And I think it's cool in that respect because I think no other company does that where they they want you to know the people that work there, the things that they do. I, I, I've accepted that and I, I, I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. What I don't like is is this this staged presentation stuff that right. comes off as disingenuous. Right. And I think that that's a perfect example. Like she obviously knew it was coming. Why do you have to make this whole song and dance around it, making it seem like it's some surprise? My, my thing is that I'm getting real tired of is not even really getting tired of. I personally don't care, but at the end of the day, it's like, look at the comic thing that happened last year of crackdown that hurt crackdown as a whole brand. It's like, if you're going to let people like no offense to anyone at the Comic Con, if you don't let people that don't play games mm -hmm. test your game, don't publicize it like it's a demonstration of your game. Hold on, hold on, I gotta jump in the chat. The chat going in. Shout out to Delilah. Shout out to Black Bear Tactics, El Buggy. I'm not nitpicking. Like if, if listen, at the end of the day, you can't say that it looked real. That's all I'm trying to say. Even though I've got confirmation, so ain't nobody over here echo chambering anything. Black Bear Tactics. The whole thing is again. The tech, from my understanding, is real. But if I'm going to look at it solely on what was displayed, I can see the argument why everyone's going to say, yo, that looked fogazy. That looked fake. Like, that's all I'm trying to say. So they got to put her in a controlled environment or something like where they're allowed to do it, not rushed, where she's talking and doing all of whatever it is. They got to showcase that better. That is your tech that you are trying to sell to the masses. You cannot <laughs> have it. You know what I'm saying? You have probably... 50,000 people watching that live. Yeah. So now you have 50,000 people that potentially told their friends that that's fake. That, yeah. And then you have their friends telling their friends that's fake. That's what and I'm before saying. you know, you have another 2013 on your hands that no one believes in this product. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. The joint could be legit real. It's just like, yo, you're doing it to yourself. That's all I'm saying. And even, and even, let's say, okay, let's say it is real, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it is real, right? It's still not the best showing simply because you're putting it in the most ideal of situations you're right. controlling the internet you're controlling yeah. everything everything is 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 perfectly controlled by you it's mm -hmm. still not the best showing you really want to show this off to people yeah, have the have the have the alpha the 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 alpha or the beta or whatever have people have it in their hands and touch it for themselves and have that conversation inform people's opinion of it. Uh, you this, know, is, this is still something that you can't sh if you cannot show in a controlled setting. Facts. You know what I would have did? Believe it. Mm -hmm. yeah, what, I, what I would have did was instead of giving her the controller, mm -hmm. um, just have a, a, a you know a few people in the crowd. Yeah. Walk out randomly give the controller to somebody well they can't do that just in case it do go no. left though yeah this is it and there you go again mm -hmm. that's the thing that's that's the crux that's what i'm talking about so if mm -hmm. it's not ready to do that yeah. then don't so, do sure. this right that and that that's right? my question like if that was the case then they shouldn't have shown it at all like to be honest will we yep. really expect them project x cloud to be shown nope. now like I'm happy that they attempted it, but if you're going to attempt it, you have to do it right. Was People, that a preempted strike at Google for next that, week? That's, shot again. I want to shout out the Xbox too because um again, Jess Gordon and Ram man, they've been on it, and, and they literally said the same thing. Because the question is, why now, right? Mm -hmm. All talked in the last topic. We know who's coming on Tuesday. Yep. We know who's doing Project Stream on Tuesday. It's just a matter of whether or not they're going to add a, a console to it, right? So that's why I was like, why did they feel the need to do this now? And again, I'm not trying to put Julia Harden out there. You know what I'm saying? It's just, again, you've got to put this tech in position to win. This thing got to be flawless. It got to pause to get show true functionality. Like, don't just hand her a joint in the middle while she's talking and, and mm -hmm. doing all this stuff. You got to do this right, man. I, I would have crashed into a wall. I would have did a burnout. You would have just yeah. saw my controller doing what it do. Mm -hmm. Do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean that's all I got on it. Like I said, I still personally believe in the tech. I still think Project X Cloud. Now, one, one, I'm sorry. One thing they should have focused on also is the fact that to this point, mm -hmm. Google has not talked about any sort of wireless functionality with their service. It's only been hardwired. They did not stress the point that hey, we're running this on 4G right now. This isn't 5G yet. Right? Right. That would have gone a long way to 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 also be like, okay, you know what? They're trying to they they're getting this to actually work somewhat on current tech. 
Mm -hmm. which is something that Google has not even attempted. They haven't even talked about anything because all of their wireless stuff in regards to Project Stream is completely reliant on 5G. Yes. And they haven't talked at all about that. It's only been wired Ethernet connections. You know what I'd have been happy with, Soft? If they'd have just been like, look, don't show it, right? But be like, yo, the public beta trials start on this date. We're going to start, you know what I'm saying? Giving these out and getting these in there. So then you give people like us or whoever, you know what I'm saying? Chat real hands on and we out there rocking and rolling and doing, you know what I'm saying? And then people like, yo, such and such play it, card played it or saw played it. Like then it becomes a thing, right? Because these are from give you know, it the Apex thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Make, make some well, project cloud game change. <laughs> do something, but do not do that. Again, I'm not blaming the tech. I'm blaming the presentation. The presentation yeah. was not a go. And this has been the Achilles heel, like King said, for this whole generation. They've got to tighten up. That's all I'm saying. So when they're gonna get it right. I know. And they 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 run out of time because, like I said, we know who's coming Tuesday and we know next gen. These we can't have these snafus, man. We can't. It's too many times. And I give them credit. The last two E3s on, but inside Xbox. It's in the bushes for me. Well, you need to put those people that you got on the E3 team to that Project Xbox stuff inside Xbox. <laughs> get rid of those dudes. Change their passcodes, please. No, no, no. So anyway, we get into the last topic. This is real, real quick. This will be like a news wave. I know Addy's got to get out of here. So, um, yeah, man, Um, this is – I'm going to actually produce something different. So I'm just doing – run up a couple of news topics, and we're going to do Lord's Game of Thrones edition. <laughs> Versus Epic Round 2. You know what I'm saying? So first off, on the Steam side, you know what I'm saying? We got Halo Master Chief Collection, right? Wow. Who would have thought? You know, we know coming to PC, but we got to admit, like, the Steam announcement was huge. Like, no one saw this. So it's like, you know, to see them two kind of playing nice together for the first time, we want to see what happens with the future of that, right? Then we got more rumors now on the Epic side. We've heard that uh, Borderlands 3, there's a possibility. We hear Gear, Gearbox kind of chirping a little bit. Um, we did hear, which was actually another huge announcement as far as um, Epic in reference to the game store. Like they've made a lot of changes. Remember a lot of things that uh, me and Attic were talking about where you know they're in the beginning stages. So it looks like they, they set out a roadmap. So in April and May, they're talking about cloud saves, all these functionality things that the Steam store actually has. And it's a huge like PowerPoint presentation. So we got that going on. So now I want to talk about the not so good, <laughs> you know, and the not so good obviously is um epic. There's been there's been accusations, accused of them spying on your your, your stream data. So if I say the spyware, the epic stuff, <laughs> so they can look and see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And then um the other thing that came out, um, Attic should know now. Attic, remember the creator of the original XCOM? Um that you come out with this game called Phoenix Point, yeah. Game. All right, so it looks like Phoenix Point. So it looks like at the last minute, kind of like a Ashen and kind of like a Metro. This is now an Epic Store exclusive. You know what I mean? So yet another one, Epic Store is coming in, snatching up. And you know, prior to that, the community thought it was you know coming to um what you call the to Steam. Now they you know the, the developer had to come out. And make a statement and, and, and try to explain what's going on because there was backlash. So I want to bring this to the Lords. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of moving and shaking going on between Epic and Steam right now. And I want to know Game of Thrones edition. You know what I'm saying? Like who, who's winning this war? Which I think all this news coming out, y'all. I'm Epic. winning this war. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you winning this war, Eddie? Because Steam is losing more and more momentum. Mm -hmm. They running out of steam. Yeah, you, yeah <laughs> you, you you just you missed that one completely, dude. It was right in front of you. Ooh, wow. <laughs> but here's the thing: Microsoft putting them games on Steam. Attic, like, the, who would have thought Master Chief Collection on Steam? Me. Mm. I you, told you he was going. Listen, Phil has been showing you little by little. If you check out them breadcrumbs, he had that Steam shirt on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he's been leading you down the hallway just to let you know the door is that way. And when you open the door, it's a whole new world. Mm. So all that stuff that you see right now, Steam is more apt to get down or lay down right now because you got big boy breathing on a neck mm. right now. So they, they give it low prices. Like, who is this new dude in this block giving mm. low prices on the same stuff I'm selling? What's going on? 
on to something. Now, let me ask you this, King. Do you think Game of Thrones right now? Mm-hmm. You think, remember, Microsoft and Steam never really played that nice. We know the games have been like the Killer Instinct and a couple, one, one of the games, but they never had the Xbox Live functionality like Master Chief is about to have on Steam. Mm-hmm. And, and, and this is Microsoft now saying, hey, we'll give you that cut. Mm-hmm. Do you think Steam is feeling that pressure and like, yo, we got to let's link. You know what I'm saying? Against the common enemy over Cog, there. I told you long time ago, mm-hmm. when you're losing, you're doing anything to get back on top. Yo, mm-hmm. you ever got a pay cut and you try to figure out how can I get my paycheck back to how you <laughs> like, yeah, Have you ever got your, your check, right? And you mm-hmm. say, let's say your check every week was like 950. Mm-hmm. Then you got a pay cut and you was at 750. So mm-hmm. you started doing overtime to get back to that 950 because you had a comfortable lifestyle at 950, uh-huh. right? So these dudes is doing overtime now. Now they got to get out here and play with people they don't normally play with to get back to the bucks they usually get. Oh, All yeah. right, so Lord, shout out to Lord uh, T Man Fool. He said Phil bet the knee the Lord gave it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Listen, you can assume how you want to view that, but <laughs> I, I want you to understand this, right? Somebody had to say, yes, please bring that over here. Mm. Who's really bending the knee? See, this is the, how the puppet master works. Mm. He lets you think you're in control till he yank your string. <laughs> so what, you think he trojan your horse that... that, that, that so once, once they start playing, think about it this way. All these little Master Chief heads, these little new Master Chief heads mm. is going to be playing, right? With Xbox functionality. Mm. Again, engagement. Goofball, mm. who really bending the knee? And I will say this though, I mean, we we know that it's a staggered release. So one thing that's interesting is that you know they're doing reach first, then another marketing cycle with the first Halo. It's mm-hmm. like a slow stack. So each time it's gonna be on front of that Steam store, it's on mm-hmm. front, you know what I'm saying? As far as marketing and promotion, and then almost set up infinite in a way, right? Because mm-hmm. I mean, all these other titles coming yeah. on, but solve like what you think? Do you think Microsoft and Steam playing nice is setting something up bigger? And they're looking at Epic as a threat, or where, where you at? You don't pay them no mind. I think, I, you know me. I don't really jump into the conspiracy theories, but I'm, long ago there there were rumors about Microsoft perhaps grabbing up Steam, right? Yes. <laughs> and at that point, we were like, okay, maybe if Gabe wants to just sell and doesn't feel like just you know making money hand over fist anymore, like whatever, like he just wants to sell and get out of the business. Okay, now you find. Steam in a position where they're being attacked on two on two fronts, mm. and now it's like okay, whether whether or not their position, you know, in t- money wise or whatnot, is diminishing, that's up for debate. But obviously, they there are things they have to change in order to continue to look appealing when Epic um, is doing what they're doing and uh, Discord is doing what they're doing. Right. So, yeah, you know, I wouldn't put it, you know, Phil, Phil putting the arm around Gabe and be like, hey, man. <laughs> hey, bro. It's just, hey, bro. bro. It's just you, know, and you know me, I'm not into the conspiracy theories, but it makes it makes sense that that this is the time, you know, he's there in the time of need. You know? has, has, <laughs> the, has the, the, the Targaryens come over to the, to the, to Winterfell? <laughs> you know? Long Jay, cook, Jay, you know? Jamie Lannister being like, no, man, the White Walkers are coming, man. I'm leaving you behind. I we need to go. <laughs> but, 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 but here's the thing. Who are the White Walkers? Is it is it Google? Is Google the White Walkers? Uh, or, or, or is Steve? Or, what is I, it? I think it's it's Google you have to be worried about, right? Obviously, Tuesday is a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Yesterday, I purchased the game on the on the Epic Game Store. They had a <laughs> Epic had a mm-hmm. Epic had like a, a sale with Ubisoft, right? And they mm-hmm. had Watch Dogs two for like eight bucks. Oh wow! So, so I said, let me get Watch Dogs two because I, I had it on my X, but I haven't played it. So I'm like, you know what? Really, let me just play it on the PC. So I got it. And then if you look at the Epic Games <laughs> launcher and the store. Like right. the Epic Games launcher in the store is super rudimentary at this point, still. Like it's very like it doesn't have a lot of functionality at yeah. all. So when it gave me the option to actually play the game through UPlay, I was like, all right, fine. No, I'm gonna download it through UPlay. I purchased it on the Epic Game Store, closed that, <laughs> and then did everything else through UPlay. 
So they're not quite there yet, right? They still need to make those big deals to bring people over. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, we haven't heard everything that they're doing. I'm sure there are plenty of people who, who have deals in the works, um, smaller indie developers, maybe even some bigger developers that still that stuff hasn't come to light yet. Mm -hmm. But because of, of how developer friendly their practices are we are going to see more of that it's just a matter of how much and is it enough to really steamroll steam right it i mean i will so give them credit first of all shout out to the chat with the game of drone references they said <laughs> phil is khaleesi <laughs> riding the one mother said he's riding the back of the dragon they out of control but i will say this to your point so in reference to the store because one of the arguments against epic was like people were like yo we're not feeling y'all just buying games right and get y'all store together now there's a legit roadmap of all the clouds say all the problems that not all but i would say like it'd be 75 percent of the problems that people have with the store in comparison steam they right. look to be doing you know what I mean? and they put that map out there like yo we are going to address this and this is within what year one i don't know yeah. how long it's been. so so, so the, the 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 question is whether they really do that if they do do that and mm -hmm. they are able to do it in that time frame or less mm -hmm. obviously less is better right if they can get that stuff up and running as fast as possible mm -hmm. it's huge because then 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 at that point you really are a competitor you're in the same exact space you have the same exact or better functionality you and you don't you have more eggs in your basket um it's just a matter of how how willing people are going to be the, uh, to adopt it but i know they're going to keep fighting that fight they're not stopping mm -hmm. so regardless to what steam has to make changes mm -hmm. uh, i think yeah. i think there's one key factor is if epic's going to be able to to even remotely dethrone steam which is it's how long is Fortnite's going to be on top Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, we know Apex is the is that's the, the money problem. thing. Yeah, the money thing. Shout out to Dizzy. He said Google. He said Amazon. He said those are the White Walkers. He said they made a streaming platform, make shows to compete with Netflix, and no one watches them. They've already purchased Game Studios too. White Walkers confirmed. So Amazon, he's saying is the White Walker. He said Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Not those dudes that lost over there to them dudes. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think Amazon's pretty content with Twitch. I don't yeah. really think they're doing yeah, anything. Like, honestly, uh, they've been talking about them being in the gaming space and again maybe they've been real super quiet about it and just don't want to say anything to the time is 100 percent right but it just doesn't seem they have that interest like Google i think does. their yeah, thought so. process is we ain't doing that anymore we just gonna put twitch on anything that someone people do do it check <laughs> this out check this out right mm -hmm. i mean it's gonna be a mind blow Let's go. right um what if this is the the bigger grand is still to get game pass uh sometime some type of way interwoven into steam Woo. I mean, like I said, I was extremely surprised to have Master Chief Collection on Steam. I did not see that happening. That is their biggest franchise. You know what I'm saying? Halo. And then let's be real. Look at the positive. Like mm -hmm. Halo got so much positive reception right now. They're sending pizza boxes nonstop. Mm -hmm. Like they had to send so many pizza that they got on Twitter I, and begged them to I, stop. Like PC community tends to go in. And for them to, it was such a positive thing to see the reception and the love. And yo, what, what's 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 Bungie's uh, address? I'm about to send us a pizza too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they was like, get to work. Let's send, <laughs> send us some pizza, and mm -hmm. it's it, it's gonna have some anchovies on. And we'll put Ooh, on some I pineapple love that too. Anchovy. I we'll love put some pineapple on it too. Who oh, wants some pineapples and anchovies? <laughs> Send that over here, I'm gonna man. put ham on it so he'll, he'll shut up. The hell with you with that ham. <laughs> the hell wrong with Almost you. Almost said Amazon is status Baratheon. <laughs> status Baratheon. <laughs> they go they, fall. They, they got killed off screen. Nah, they, <laughs> they, they, they Cal Drago. He <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I will say this. I mean, does this mean with this epic title, you know, said on Steam? And I'm playing nice. Does this mean future titles? Does Microsoft that are they hedging they back? I mean they putting the money there and King then they, the and right, more I gotta take off you guys. King, All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. King King has a point with the Game Pass thing because think about it, right? The, Master Chief Collection has been on Game Pass forever at this point. Mm -hmm. How do you monetize this game? on plat like you you really have to incentivize people to be like yeah you're gonna pay 49.99 or 59.99 again for this mm -hmm. or is that or is the game pass something uh an announcement they haven't made yet well game pass we know is coming and the, and the rumor is is rumors is that it's supposed to be coming by summertime to pc 
So <laughs> it, it makes sense. Up. It makes sense for that to be announced hand in hand, day and date. Um, because again, like you can't. It's hard to justify monetizing this game again, mm. being that it's essentially free on a on a service already. So yeah, right. I mean, yeah, that to me that's actually coming. That King makes a great point there. Like mm. all it, I you're, hear you're, is the Soldier Boy back. music. All <laughs> I hear is Soldier Boy music. Soldier Boy, <laughs> it's <I> mean, you. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier boy, <laughs> it's, 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 I want to say it, cats and dogs. Epic his little <laughs> finger. <laughs> Yo, they going in with the, the, the Game of Thrones references. It is interesting, cats and dogs sleeping together, man. It, it, things I'm, I'm, I'm definitely surprised on some of this news that's coming out. We got to see how this plays right, out. When we lose, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got to see what happens. We got to see what Epic does. It's, it's they're, pulling, they're pulling out all the stops, talking about the. Uh, how the epic launcher is uh, is stealing information from Steam and poking around your computer. <laughs> <laughs> they want you afraid. That's how you know when they was talking about the uh, the connect watching you <laughs> and all that other stuff. They made people afraid of they connect. Get that out of here! It can see us through the walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Listen, we'll see. We, this is that very interesting, man. Game of Thrones, man. Next gen Game of Thrones. That's what's going on. People are siding and making alliances you don't ever think happening. It's crazy right now. So that's all I got. Pretty much, we're going to wrap up. Lord Attic had to leave. But I wanted to say before he leaves, actually, we'll, we'll get the, the poll in and then we'll, we'll talk about what he's going to do. But um, yeah, man. So that's it. New ILP poll this week with all the latest rumors regarding Google's potential upcoming console announcement at GDC. How serious do you take Google as a threat in the next generation console wars? The choices are A, not sold. Project Stream and Google will not win without games. B, sold. Google's partners, bank, and aggressive aggressiveness automatically make them a threat. Or C, I don't care until OK Google and Google Plus get out of the bushes. Those are the choices. <laughs> Please rock the ILP vote when it goes up. Lord Attic had to leave, but uh, we are going to get his little situation going on. And um, basically, he's going to be doing a stream right now. It's his roll to e stream. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hook him up with the with the stream team. He's going to be getting a bunch of streams and getting a lot of your favorite YouTubers and personalities to stream with him. So please support the brother. We're going to put that information out there. It's going to be coming up soon. You're going to see the tweets from the ILP account. Just get Lord Attic to E3. So we're going to salute that brother and get him going on. So uh, shout out to Forte, his question about when console will die like the Red Wedding. <laughs> they love the Game of Thrones right now. Lord Sov, where can the fine people find you? What is going on? <laughs> so yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Lord Sov ILP and on PSN Xbox Live at uh, BX Sovereign. Big shout out to our Sekiro winner. I will be getting uh, that code out to you later on today or tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. Once you tell me what platform you want it for. Uh, and guys, look out for ILP Lognet at PAX ooh. East yes, 2019 sir. in a couple of weeks. Yes, we are sir. doing it big over there. Yes, so sir. be sure to tune in to lordsofgaming.net. Everything will be funneled through lordsofgaming.net. We'll have footage. We'll have previews. We'll have interviews. Be there. Yes, sir. One more. Now, keep in mind, we got one more ILP before PAX, and that might be special time next week. So I'm going to get you guys the information on that when that comes out. Mm -hmm. And but after that, you know what I'm saying, we will, there won't be an ILP the following week. So we'll keep you up to date with what's going on with everything because we will be there in the realm of Boston doing it up with the Lords of Gaming. Lord King, where can the fine people find you? What you got going Ooh. on, sir? You'll find me at lordsofgaming.net with that uh, the king of the statues and with that uh, combat talk with the king. Oh. Uh, you know, like, follow, and subscribe. Make sure that you you know tune in so you don't be tuned out. Uh, this week, as you can see, the setup is already set up. All right, so mm -hmm. I'm about to go get busy. I got boxes Ooh. already. See boxes. Yo, I like the gray though. The gray, yeah, Ooh, yeah. Like the curtain. You know, it, you know what it is like? It's, it's like it's velour. <laughs> you know, so I, I had to, I had to get the velour up there, you know, that, that nice smooth. I didn't like the other look, 
I didn't like the old look, so I had to go with the velour. Like, like, you know I, like, I like the velour because the velour give me one video. See, yeah. <laughs> so check this out. This is what I'm gonna do, right? The um the format is gonna change. Uh next week. Uh first, I'm gonna give you a hint on what's coming next week. Mm -hmm. Holy Trinity. All right. So if anybody knows what that means, then you got a uh, heads up on what's coming uh, next week. It's going to be one video. It's not going to be split into two videos anymore. So you're going to get a story synopsis, and then you're going to get the unboxing breakdown in one whole video. Oh, get the beat, um, though, right? the beat ain't going away. Beat going to be knocking. That's my beat right there. Back to oh, knocking. Oh, I'll be bumping that joint all day. No. Spitting bars to it. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yo, listen, man, like, follow, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Also, remember, don't forget, we're looking for that, uh, that the gaming reporter, that info yes. news dude, that DJ academics going to a uh, lords of gaming.net. Uh, like I said, like, follow, yeah. subscribe, and go in there, put that application in there so we can see who you are. My vote right now is for the final. Oh, he can't go to find us. He heard you. They want you out there, man. I seen the application that come application. in. I seen the application come in. Also, I think about young Chris was up in there. Yeah. Oh, all our Cali dudes, man. Y'all be on it. What's up? You know what I mean? We know what's up. Well, yeah, I hear you, K. Definitely, definitely. So, yeah, shout out to everybody. Support the Lords of Gaming.net. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, all that. Check out the articles out there. Tremendous stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? And then, obviously, the stream team. Petey was in the building today. Salute to him and the stream team again. We're going to be working with Lord Addict. Let's get Addict to E3. Stream is going to be popping. We got some huge surprises, some big names that's going to be working with him to get that and raise some little cash up for the brother. He's going through it right now. So, we got that. And then, obviously, like I said, on Lords of Game and all the tremendous articles, man. Oh, the, the team that we got currently is killing it. We just want to add more. We're just greedy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's that. But um, yeah, man, that's all I got. You already know the audio is going to be up on uh, what you call it, Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, all that good stuff. You already seen that comeback talk, cleaning statues coming with the new joint. No last word this week. Ivantis the Cheetah is traveling. We will come back next week. We're going to have some special guests, too. We're going to start getting guests when the last word. So please check that out. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I got. You know what I'm saying? Forte, you already know. You know, slow mo, you already know. Josh ready, yo. I see y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do it up. But yo, everybody enjoy your Sunday. If anybody else got anything else, we are out. Peace. <laughs>